See, look, there you go again. You keep you keep telling me these things and then expect me not to react. Oh, 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 bugger, oh, we're what? live. Yeah, we're live. Oh, Oops. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, everybody. Hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. Uh, we're here. Is there anybody hi. there? I have no idea. I don't think so. I'm getting zero watching at the minute. Oh, according to my screen, there's seven waiting. Oh, hiya, Manic. Oh, hey, Manic. Hiya, TC. Hello. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, hey, Manic. Hey, TC. We're actually quite privileged. We've got AV, AVS in the in the house. Hiya, Gailey. Hey, Gailey. Hi, Gail. See, you've got a spanner in here, Gailey. My bitch. Yay. Hiya, Brew. Hey, Brew. My, my bitch and my minion are doing well tonight. Yes. Hey, Hiya, Village. Hi. Do you know what though, Bunny? What? Do you know all those ones that said I'm doing reviews? Yeah. Hi Ian. Hi Ian. I put one out yesterday. I put one out today. <gasps> Be still my beating heart. <laughs> what have you, Michelle, what have you done to him? Um, you must really enjoy cracking that whip girl. You've got him working something. Good something evening, right Christopher. Hi, Chris. Hiya, Biscuit. Hiya, Mark. Hey, Biscuit. Uh, Chris, it's up. And uh, this is the point where Roy books his tickets to Australia. <laughs> no. At the end, of, at the end of the day, Chris is a businessman, and I, I'm sure he would accept an honest review. Of course he will. Oh, he's already Chris, watched it and commented. It's Chris we're talking about here. Appreciates honesty. Remember, good, bad, or indifferent, as long as you're oh. honest, that's what counts. I was. Thanks to you. Also, thank you for being honest. That's all I ask. With anyone who agrees, I might just have friends like the original color cuts of me in this year. This year, please. I'm going to get my ground and just pick the best green that I want to have for this cookie. More than likely, Chris, whenever I tasted the EVC at your shop, it was a rich, creamy custard. And I suppose that's because I was thinking it's EVC, salted caramel custard, and I thought it was coming in from that. Yeah, you I'm were just, sort of spoiled, weren't you? I am. I'm really spoiled with, with rich creamy custards, full fat creamy custards. I don't like these skinny lattes and everything else. It has to be full fat creamy things. But no, the caramel on it is, I, I really enjoyed the caramel. And I'm still vaping on it. Yeah, I'm still vaping. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Oh. Oh, there he is. There he is. I've got such a, <laughs> I've got such a delay on my chat. It's unbelievable. Um, but thanks for your comments, Chris. You can't add too much. You can't add too much creams with that caramel, especially the salted caramel that makes it taste like you have to hate. Thanks for you and great honesty. It's I have, I I have to, to be. say the the uh, salted caramel color custard. I have to say is just before it is one of the nicest e liquids I have ever ever had. Yep. That I'm is that good. I'm more into my fruit sometimes. He's a fruit. I'm a sweetie. Fruit. That's why she likes me. <laughs> yeah, he likes all he likes all the all the desserts. I'll just eat all the fruit. So, Bunny. Yes, yeah, dear. Well, I can't ask you what you had for breakfast. I can't ask you had you what fruit. Yeah, because I don't do breakfast unless yeah. I'm away. How many cups of coffee you had today? I have had about seven cups of coffee today, uh, speaking of which I have a rather large one here right now. Yeah. And look, Michelle, it's a purple mug. Oh, it's purple. Purple. Yeah. Not purple. It's my, purple. My, I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm a metallic purple travel mug. Hiya, Mr. Nash. Hey, Hiya, Jude. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. <laughs> yes, like uh, so this is, this is cup number eight. Um, I'm not quite bouncing off the walls yet, but then coffee doesn't affect me in that way, as you know. And village, the, probably the reason you, you love the salted caramel is because the custard has been mellowed down on it as compared to the normal EVC custard. Um, that's what we might try. Darren, no. Bad oh. minion, no. Funny has something large and purple, and it runs on petrol. Sorry, coffee. I thought it was hamsters. Oh. <laughs> I'm just couldn't keep up. Sorry, Bonnie, bring it back again. Here she goes. Where is it? Where is it? So, what are you vaping on? Well, I've got uh, a few on the go this evening. I have 
the iJoy Katana kit with the little mouth to lung tank on there, which is really rather nice, I have to say. And in here, I have some sweet vape custard, since we're on a custard thing. It's a, a raspberry custard, but do you know what it reminds me of? You know the ruffle bars you get? Yeah. It reminds me on the ruffle bars without the chocolate. chocolate. That's just what it reminds me of because there's a very slight hint of coconut in here and it is really, really very nice. Uh, so that's that one. I also have hey, the commoners muck. Hey, Sinner! I've got the commoners muck with the uh, bonza on top of that. And in there, I have some uh, Southern Bale from White Noisy Liquids, which is peaches and cream. And oh my oh. God, is it good. Oh, lovely, lovely stuff. I also have the usual, the uh, top side and the dead rabbit, and in there I have the squeeze apple and strawberry. Sorry, say that again, Brian, you just broke up, just you said that. Squeezy, yes. sour apple and strawberry. Yeah, you keep breaking up as you're saying that, <laughs> say it again. Sour apple and strawberry. And strawberry. It, no, I'm being serious, it did, it actually broke up as you said that, this three times. <laughs> Sorry. I just was well, interested in your juice. Sorry. Yeah, is that not <laughs> and I've also got the uh, Nart Revenger and, and that another one from uh, White Noisy Liquids, which is, which is a blueberry cheesecake. You are breaking up really badly tonight for some reason. Well, you're coming through loud and clear with me. Two seconds. Biscuit is vaping on recurve with the VX300 with his homemade strawberry custard. Not going to lie, the strawberry flavour has dropped off next to nothing. Biscuits, one of the things that um, I learned from somebody who spent a long time making cusp or making strawberry type things, you need to put at least seven different strawberries in to actually keep the flavour of the strawberry, especially in the custard. And that was from Alex from um, Strawberry Glazed Donut. <laughs> that sounded like Nutcracker Revenger with Boo uh, Exactly. That's why I had to keep asking her, Chris. And that fruit salt range, by the way, that sounds very, very appealing. I will be very interested. Yeah. It, is this going to be a full line of salts, Chris? If you're not busy, you can pop on and tell us. Boo is that what you call it when the pearl, when the pearl necklace runs? <laughs> Michelle. What are you giving on? I don't actually know. Okay, tonight we have. Here goes the video <laughs> voice. <laughs> Camera's up there for that. Okay. I'm on my Bravo, and in the Bravo I have. What's the Bravo one? I don't know. Hold on. What's the Bravo I've one? got Sour Shockers Blue Raspberry, and it's on top of the Arc Mall by UV. I don't know. USB. 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 <laughs> Why do I vape? I do not know. And yeah, and that's really it. I don't know what else. Whatever I grab. <laughs> so, the, you the, might get a little update straight. The semi update, <laughs> the semi tidy, semi tidy, semi tidy table. I mean, really. Well, that's I suppose that'll go nice it. then. That's about it, really. Following on from my review, <laughs> I've got the um, the trainer. Funny like that one. Trantor. 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 Sorry, Trantor. Trantor. Yeah, yeah there's no eye in it. Okay, Trantor. Michelle hands make that model look like a brick house. It is quite brick. big though, isn't it? <laughs> See, it's even big in your hand. Um, how's that big in my hand? My hand covers it. Now you try and put your hand right around it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Chris. No, that ain't happening. <laughs> He's on birds, custard with powdery tasting custard. Actually, Chris, yes, I've got that, but I put a wee bit of that in it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, you're just, so just bad. To try it. Just to, you're just so to, bad. Just to try it and see. And uh, uh, yeah. Okay, and I've got <laughs> Bunny's favourite mods. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what's wow? What's do? Oh, what, Chris has just put wow. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. That's it. I'm dead. Yeah. 
<laughs> you are so getting an ass whooping. Um, yeah, I've got my, uh, with the drop on top. Oh, by the way, I've got the FP on top of that one. Um, and that I have got... I'm tied up now, I can't get anything. It was Miami Runner. Sacrilege. <laughs> you have to try these things, village. Yeah. But for the, the complete review and everything else, and for the two weeks that... It was two weeks that we did not, wasn't it? Um, it was just the pure... Yeah. Yeah. For two weeks, and I have tried it in absolutely everything. I've tried it through the rage. Hi, Liam. Liam, Mr. Mullen. Hi, Liam. Coil maker in the house. Mm. So, Bonnie, how have you been? Sore. It's been a high pain week for me. Bree, what have you been doing to her? <laughs> no, not his fault this time. Just my usual ills and ailments, and the cold weather takes its toll on me, as you know. And it doesn't matter what I've doesn't matter what I've done, I just can't seem to shake off uh, a lot of the pain. It's set into the back of my neck and my shoulder right now. So, um, yeah. Even just simple things like moving my arm to lift something off the table hurts. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I'm alive. I'm still kicking. I cannot stop the best apple I've ever tried. Squeeze green apple. It's a dinty green apple with a light, light in the colada and I mean it's light. It is sex and hundred. See, it wasn't me. There we go. Wait, it should be back up. It's back up again. Is it? Yeah. Are we back? Can you guys see and hear us okay? Well, YouTube's telling yeah, me we're back. YouTube yeah. telling me that it's now green. Yeah, Chris says we're back, so. Yeah, if any of you guys are having trouble seeing us, just give it a quick refresh and remember to switch to live chat whenever you come back. So. I have no idea what happened because I had no indications of anything on the internet going down. That wasn't Nothing. the internet, it was just OBS. I've got OBS disconnected and reconnected. Was all OBS disconnected and reconnected. Um, just yeah, having a wee fit. Keep that bottle down. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor, I have had half the bottle of coloured custard, it's good stuff. See, yeah, coloured custard. That was, coloured custard is just a plain custard, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And Dead Man's Arms, the roly-poly. It was a coloured custard that I got to try because it was your guy from down south. Yeah, Gav. Pardon? Gav. Gav. That was at the shop that day we were there. Um. Yeah, he had it. Yeah, he had it, and it really was, it was, it, it was, because I said that day I'd have to vape it for a, a bit just to get you know, to see. I've just got my business account activated with D, DPD, so your dead man's arm will go out tomorrow. So that yeah. means Chris is coming down and going to smack you in the arm. Yeah. Chris, if you want to join us on Castmate, you're more than welcome. Feel free to call in if you like, we don't mind, more the merrier. See. Chris. Yeah, Chris. Chris has been having a lot of problems with uh, Royal Mail, which is why he has uh, switched to DPD not, for his delivery. Not just problems, it's bloody costs. Yeah, them costs. Jesus. Like yeah, that's. What are they charging you? 500 quid just to come to the shop and pick it up to see if you walk into the post office. Mm -hmm. But there you go, Chris. Seven different custards, four different vanillas, three different creams. Bingo. Full fat, creamy custard. Do you know what, right? <laughs> What I did like about that, the salted caramel, was that it wasn't like blasting in my face with vanilla because that's what puts me off. I think that's why I don't like custards in general. It's because I get blasted with vanilla and I'm just like, oh, you know. But um, I did like that. Well, I that, love my vanilla. This uh, raspberry custard that I have in here, you would like it, Michelle, because you really don't get the vanilla at all. You do get the raspberry oh. hit and there's just that slight undertone of coconut. Which oh, is why it reminds me of the ruffle bar. Yeah. Hold the front page. Hold the front page. I see a big guns. A big oh guns. My good God. Hello. My God, Stranger. Man. Where have you been? 
Wow, it's so good to see you, man. How are how the hell it are is. you? Lad, yeah. Chris keeps ignoring us when we say he can call in. He must be busy. <laughs> He's probably doing his one of his got us in the background. Yeah, nope, coconut. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I love coconut. No, Gail, Gail can't have coconut. So she can't. She just really does not like coconut. You oh, that, then, that, that I need that in my life. That is so gorgeous. That is so good. That, that is so amazing. Mhm. Mm Custards by most companies just buying Capella's V2 custard and a mega new label, nothing like it. Yeah. Killer custard is version 48. Yeah. There was somebody. There was somebody I had an argument with Chris, who was saying that um, Empire Vape Co was just another white label, and Bonnie and I both argued with that person. And told oh yeah, we dived no. all over that. We put and them straight. Was, we basically said to them, the next time he sees you on camera, for you to, for you to just to say to him and hold up the wee, wee bottles that you have let her draw in your office there of the different versions of your juices coming in. Yeah. I'm building the Empire website at the same time and downloading all the updates from your game and laptop, Amazon to stream the Sims and two. Ah uh, right, no worries, no worries. Coconut but you know rightly, on. you know rightly, man. Anything this channel goes live, you're more than welcome to call in. And yeah, arm, oh, Gail, Dead you will so love it. Dead Man's arm's amazing. It's their really poly and custard. Yeah, really it cool. is amazing. I'm just so not into dessert. I wish I wasn't a desserts because I love desserts, like in real life. Chris, that's what I said. The ABC, any of any of your dishes aren't white label, um, because you're the one that gets the sample sent out to you, um. Um, getting the oh nice one something. big guns big guns has been learning a lot about building mods and he has a few good things in the works Ooh, you'll have to keep us informed tell us more big guns yeah you've got to see the got to see the results of that one and chris i don't know how anybody could say as i've watched you in any in any of the shows on the uk vape show or any of your live streams and anything else that how anybody could say that your stuff is white label because you keep talking about when a juice is coming up the last few weeks before the juice is about to come out, you're talking about you know, all the wee sample bottles you've got and how you, if you don't like it, you're sending it back. Yeah, listen, trust me, there is absolutely sweet fuck all white label about any liquids. I can I can tell that right now. Like I you know, I totally agree because I've seen Chris, I've seen Chris you know, with the bottles, sample them. So 12 months before I knew it was coming out, and I wanted this, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly Chris. Which because exactly that's your name. Same. That's your name. That's your reputation on the line, and you're not going to release something until it is perfect. Which is the same with um, Titanic custard. The same with Alex's um, donuts, strawberry glazed oh, donuts, and at, memory, memory glazed donuts. Look at Paul and the guys that love to vape. Look how long it took them to get theirs done. Yeah, twelve. It took twelve, thirteen months before they they sent out the it in the clean mm -hmm. room. Whereas yeah. something like something like that from Barry. And the basic is white label. Yeah, those are mass produced, just generic uh, backup juices, really. But that's why they're pumped out. That's why they're pumped out cheap. Um, that's why they're pumped out cheap and all, and sold in the shops cheap. Yeah. I was posting on Instagram and Facebook what I come up with. You nice have to give us a guns. Sneak I will. Preview. I will uh, keep my eyes and ears open for those. It'd be interesting to see that. It's different for me. Any other just company, if they make something crap, then it just goes around not to buy it. If I make something crap, people will call me out. Non yeah. Exactly, Chris, because it's not. EVC's not just a juice. It's your it's Instagram, it's your your Twitter, it's your shop, it's your live shows, it's your YouTube. So you yeah, are. It's a brand. It's a, it's a brand. And you're building on that brand. But one of the things I do like. Is that you're keeping the EVC bits in there, and you're trying to keep everything. <laughs> he says there, Vic would have picked up if it was a white label instantly. Uh, I was hiding behind the couch when I, when I watched the reviews of the first three flavors. I just have visions of Chris hiding behind the sofa now. <laughs> I could just hide behind my mod to see. Yeah, but you're little enough; you can do that. But if you want, if you ever want me to try any more custards, Chris, one down the line for you. No, problem. No, just get it. <laughs> my turn. Yeah, the, my turn the fruit flavours. <laughs> the um, fruit ones I'm looking forward to trying. 
I'm going to have to try um, Bix Custard. Bix Peach Custard? Yeah. Oh, his Peach Custard is gorgeous. I'm, just going to, I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to have to get a wee blast off from the Expo just to see. Because I do, I absolutely adore my custards. Hi, IBC. Hi. I think you like the fruits because nobody else has done these yet. They were not since the time of the market. Well, that's, that's the way to go, Chris. Yeah. You know, there's so Make many, it unique. There's too many people or too many juice companies out there that see that a juice is popular. A, tic, a particular. And they jump on the bandwagon like that, don't they? For instance, every single juice company brings out a Heisenberg. Um, and they keep going with it. I'm trying to make the world's first fruit punch with over 50 concentrates in it. Oh, that that's going to be epic. That really hard to pull <laughs> off. Because um, most, uh, most, most fruit juices out there that call themselves a punch have got four flavours in it at the most. And out of those four flavours, they've probably got about eight, nine different concentrates in it. So... Going for something with 50 concentrates in it and a, and a punch. That will be really interesting, on, especially when that, how that, how's that um, is layered. Behind it, he wants to make his flavours unclonable. That's the biggest one. But even, the even, with all this, even with a lot of the gadgetry that's out there at the minute, Chris, if you're putting 50, you're putting 50 flavours in there, or 50 concentrates in there, even if somebody managed to get all the concentrates, managed to, if they did, they managed to get all the juices, it's how it's layered. When those, when the flavor, different flavors are put into it, and you know, at what strengths and you know, when they're put in, is one of the bigger underlying features of how, how a juice actually vapes, or what it is in the inhale and what it is in the exhale. You can't <laughs> have high of them, science for days. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> but um, you know, it's it's one of those. It's, yes, they can get stuff. Yes, they can they can find out what the flavors are and in, in it. But it's how it's put together. You know, it's, somebody could have the best recipe for the world's best cake. But yeah, if they don't mix the cake properly, and you should know that's funny being a cook. Yeah, as they yeah. don't mix the cake properly, don't put their ingredients in at the right time and. and it doesn't turn out the way it should. No, it most certainly does not. So, That's why I don't like. <laughs> I'm one of those and I was like, I just chuck it in, it's fine, mix it up. No. Big guns, he's already got other juices no, on the go there. Do that. Just visit. Stick. Just Michelle, visit stick with me, I'll show you how to bake a cake. You big around. So bad at baking. <laughs> That's Um, where is our super spanner tonight? I think he's a, I think he's a, um, I think he's a um, corrupt him. Cake. <laughs> yeah, if you say that loud enough three times, Vic appears. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. He's the cake version of Beetlejuice. Absolutely nailed. Or Candyman. Fanta fruit twist by Fanta already to the point you can take it. The drink and then finger to finger the, finger the and juice. And Isn't that Jules's department? Fingers. <laughs> oh, I miss Jules. Yeah, bless her. She's not been well the last few days, so hopefully and she's on the road to recovery. Again. Yeah, hopefully she's on the road to recovery and she'll be back at it soon. I know mm -hmm. I said this on my own channel last night, um, but our thoughts and best wishes go out to um, our very own Bill Burns. Bill Burns. Um, yes. What oh, please? Uh, just mm. Take it easy, mate. Big love out to you. You're missed. We'll still be here. But we'll still be <laughs> here whenever you you bring it up. And I'm sure if you want to take a few a few weeks sabbatical from your business and everything else, then that's fully understandable. Yeah, because at the end of the day, your health comes first. You, know, you need to look after is, yourself. Your business will still be there after a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, take some time, get yourself fit again, get better. So. Well, I'm a huge fruit fan, so I'll let you try a good fruit punch. Well, there you go, Bill. You've got the link there for Empire Vape Co. Um, That's big guns. Get it, yeah. You what said I Bill. Said? Oh, Bill. There big you guns. go, Bill. 
I'm not that. I'm not that Boston Fanta foot foot twerk. But Chris, if you nail Lemon Fanta, that's a different matter. Yes. Imagine vaping Lemon Fanta. Everybody else has gone with lemon tart and lemon cake and lemon drizzle cake. Black. Yeah, and lemon like lemon sorbets and stuff like that. But lemon Fanta. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but the fruit twist Fanta is. Oh, I love the fruit twist. I don't like the fruit twist Fanta. Though. I, I like the pink grapefruit Fanta. It's nice. Mm, I'm not and I, I like pink grapefruit. I'm going to hospital soon for gastric bypass and I'm supposed to get the more food I get. Oh, basket, you'll be grand. It'll all be worth it. <laughs> He's got 19 it. lemon concentrates. Like a go. Nice one, Chris. Oh. Not too mu not too heavy on the colada, Chris. Just, yeah. just, just. Gail, oh, you take care, sweetheart. Hopefully, you feel better soon. Gail, good night. Let me catch up at the start of the week, honey. Stick those feet up and get plenty of rest. I hate it. The 15 of yesterday. Big thumbs, try to like mine. It's the best fruit they've ever had. No, yeah, I, I hear a lot of people saying that, but I'll have to I'll have to see if I can get some of that to try it. Yeah, I need to try that one. I've not tried that one. I'll tell you what, that lemon wash, I managed to bake that. That was an all day bake for me. That lemon wash. And that was a dessert. So mm -hmm. that's been something good about it. TC, uh, if you're wanting to call it. Amazing, though. I know you like being on camera these days. <laughs> Yeah, that's a thought, TC. You're more than welcome to jump on if you want. He was good on Goober's show last night. I only watched Goober's, and Goober's show was really good last night. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was good, you know, Goober actually does speak. <laughs> but I have to say, it is good to have Big Guns back again. Yeah. yeah I missed miss my him. Mr. Lover Lover. We don't tell Telly. Yeah, I will be getting jealous. He'll be coming in here demanding a divorce in a minute. Oh, wow. And uh, um, I also... Oh, you ruined... Michelle ruined this. I ruined what? She ruined this. What? How did I ruin it? She did have that in it. <laughs> yeah. And then on top of it, she stuck some of that bloody stuff. <laughs> you went to have a bacon and I was like, oh. And I'm like, oh yeah, I must have put that in afterwards. Yeah, you get a little bit of the, you get a little bit of the, the coconut in there, but you ain't get that bloody sour, horrible bit in. I love that sour stuff. I'm actually nearly. I love that sour stuff as well. That stuff. I'm like, I, you probably can't see, but I'm so nearly finished. I thought about. Oh my God, it's like I'm not sure, but I think uh, Vape Club are doing those bottles for a tenner at the minute. Don't. No, they haven't got any of that left. Are they out of that? Oh, damn it. Yeah. yeah. And they're also out of the. Iron Brew. Iron Brew? Iron Brew favourite? Ugh, I can't even talk to them. Yeah, well it wasn't sour, but it was Iron Mr. Popman's Iron Brew. Yay, there's the Super Spanner in. Hi, Saint Oh a. my good god. Hope you've got a note, Saint. He's a week this time though. Three, Sleeping beauty. Half an hour late. I don't even think I've got my notifications ready to say we're nice. I got, I actually got mine instantly tonight. For change. Oh, I did already. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually me that doesn't get the notification. But I got mine instantly tonight. But, um, yeah. That, if it had a bit more flavour from it, the core. Mm. But you see the top of this? Where that's cones. I, I like that design. I love that design, the way the metal comes up to meet it. It's yeah. so comfortable to vape. Yeah, I like that design. Um, but because it's, you know, it's totally bunged, so it's not affecting the flavour, but it's just the design of it is, is beautiful. Good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah, right, we'll have to Designs. You will have to the, um, that's great. Okay, let's put you there. Let's put a funny bit of that side. That means two girls going in. 
No, that's not right. <laughs> I don't know. No, I just find it funny there. Chuck them in the bean bag in the corner, it'd be all right. Bunny in the middle. But bunny in the middle, that means two girls are in the middle. Yay. And then the two boys on the outside. That's a dodgy sandwich. Okay, I'm having problems, I can't hear you. You can't hear it. Turn your speakers on. Mm. Uh, pencil. Why is that coming up as a big? That's. Lost the lines. Oh no. We're all in a dark hole now. Yeah. <laughs> in my black hole. Yeah. <laughs> Our math is why we're sorting out in Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big guns, you can pick me up some beer on the way out. Our math is why we're sorting out. has got his. What the hell is up TC must have the stream still running. Like our store. Yeah, he's a way to get he's a way to get beer. I can't hear you, so there's something wrong with this will call back, give me two seconds. Okay. Thomas is having technical issues, he won't call back. He's having technical, technical issues. I'm I'm deleting everything on bloody screen. <laughs> it's an accident. Two talk or something. I'm having <laughs> way too much fun watching you panic. Same. <laughs> I'm not panicking. I'm like mesmerized. <laughs> it's so interesting seeing Backstreet. Backstreet. I don't know. Behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. I have lost the lounge. Have you deleted the image out of OBS? There we go. There we go. Back so are we back in comfort again then? Yeah. We're, you're spanning two seats. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to say I have a fat ass? Yeah, you're doing the splits over the two chairs. <laughs> Can you hear us this time? BC's not working for me. I can't hear you. No, Can you change your audio input? Hang on. He can't hear you. Yeah. Type him and ask him. <laughs> we can just watch him. We can just watch him panic and then to get it. Yeah. No, not this weekend. Well, we went to Tesco's. You call that? Tesco's and the chicken. I did take around. I did take around Ballykeen too. Mm -hmm. And you didn't call in. Because we're on our way to Tesco. Again, he is VC's broke. <laughs> Amateurs. Give me one second. Mm. Is the speakers working? Jason. 
His microphone's working because we can clearly hear him, but he can't hear us. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and we walked up to the chippy. Once we the end of the garden, is turn in the country from the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right enough, uh, Senator. If you've seen the size of the back garden, those two have. Yeah, she. It's quite easy to get lost in there. <laughs> it is the garden's huge. Then there's all the sheds and summer houses and things like that, all in it, and the bloody garage and everything. So. Kind of a chill weekend, didn't you? Yeah, I was going to go to Glenar Forest Park originally when it's sort of Friday when I was starting to think about what to do at the weekend, and then Saturday that all changed when I looked up the weather forecast. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and the weather has been so bipolar today. So but this, you know, this morning was absolutely glorious, but there was no way I was going to get the kids up and well, not all of them, two of them, yes, but the third one, there was no way in this earth Kira Am was going to be out of bed early on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Teenager, no. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was that blew out the fan. And then as soon as it rained from about twelve o'clock, one o'clock, I thought no, there's no point. Cause that's when I was going to go, and then just go for a leisurely walk around the north. But it was mm. quite cold today as well. I've been cold like all day. I tried a bit of gardening today. <laughs> so did I. And I had to go back in. Sorry guys, I have to mention this, but it's my last week in the hellhole this week. Yay! Bye. Yay! You'd be glad to get out of it, sweetheart. You should come on. So, any of these with British gas at the moment, if you have any questions about British gas, get on to Ryan now and get him to answer it. Yeah, before he leaves. I can't look at you. Looks like you're sucking on a hip. It does do, actually. Well, she is Scottish sinner, so maybe she has a closet algae and hasn't told anybody. Yo, so what I could do is this. It's really a hip class. Oh, no. Don't try that, just right. uh, masks uh, that are <laughs> <laughs> And Ryan says, don't ring this week, he can't cope with increased volumes. But just think, Ryan, on your very last day, you have the pleasure of being able to tell every customer to fuck off. No, he hasn't. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. What are you doing? You're big on camera. How am I big on camera? It means you're big on camera. Oh my word, please don't. Look at that screen, that's his cast screen. <laughs> You flipping dead too. I'm not taking any calls yet. Do you know what, Ryan? Good on you. Just saying no. Nope. <laughs> Passing it over to my lassie. <laughs> uh, don't ring this again, don't you? Yeah, everybody has to ring. Just no, don't even worry about <laughs> ringing British gas. Just get on to Ryan now. <laughs> Just, yeah. I've been I've been told to only get contacted to Ryan. I can't even talk to you. What's wrong with my vocabulary? Ryan, I'm going to ring this week. Even though I'm not a British gas customer, I'm going to ring and have to speak to you. You're so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm going to get the whole of um, Brilliant IT to contact you. That's just nasty. Imagine doing that. But, um, no, they had a bit of a panic down their way yesterday. Uh, Gemma's got two horses. Yeah, I saw on Facebook that they managed to get out. Yeah. And Ryan's Charlotte, dear helper, feels like she had run one of those um, mud runner runs. Oh, bless her. She had mud places where you couldn't find mud normally. Do it. I'll get a bunch of emails and delete buttons in very handy. Oh, but Ryan, I wouldn't get him to send you an email. I would just say, I'm staying on hold till I can speak to him in person because he deletes emails. <laughs> <laughs> I can be You're evil. You're such I've a wind up, Martin. I've worked in call centers long enough. Ryan, to know how they work. Yeah, you are such a wind up, you. Friday night was. I've got a nice few scratches on my legs. I'm doing my favorite jeans. No. Therefore... Um, Gemma owns you, owns you a new pair of jeans, Ryan. Bonnie's looking confused now. Chasing off the horses, though. Yeah, because Thomas has just messaged me saying that VC ain't, ain't letting him hear us, and I'm just replying, I have no clue how to fix that. I'm a technophobe. Oh, I haven't got my VC. I don't have a VC. There you go. Well, his window's still there, so Adam, 
and yeah. in all fairness, it was Bob oh. with my old horse, so it's all right. Yeah, he yeah. says he's going to restart his PC to see if that works. Well, hopefully, folks, by the end of next week, um, I should be a slightly better now. Well, it won't be as long to get memory. I'm build in the process of building a a PC because it's becoming to a point of. I worked in a call center for three days and got two hundred death threats. Wow. What sort of call center did you work in? Must be night. Must have been a night so outbound call center. Good Samaritans. For two hundred. <laughs> for two hundred. For two hundred death threats in three days, it must have been an outbound call center with an automatic diner. Oh my god! Yeah, I love it when they call. It's like, have you been in an accident? I'm like, have you? Seriously? And then they are hung up on me. I'm like, you have no idea. Stephen Clemens and Q Q Radio done a good one. He actually recorded it. To the point where he says, Have you been in an accident? Yeah, it was in Tesco's car park. <laughs> he was selling life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was an accident in Tesco's car park. Were you seriously injured? Yeah, I lost my leg. Is your leg still lost? No, I found it at the other side of the car park. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Then what happened to you? Oh, I was dead. <laughs> Village, sorry about that biscuit. I was having a bad week. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Can I speak to you, blah blah? Would you be interested in taking life insurance? Why? Is my life going to end? It will. <laughs> yeah. I hate outbound calls, um, but the reason why I do outbound calls was when I worked in the Minster Law, and that was like there was inbound, there were inbound calls that for accidents, but the whole part of the business was personal injury claims. They were bringing people, bringing people back that actually phoned us to tell us there'd been an accident. We'd just bring them back and three days later after and see. Yeah, Are you injured? Sure. I always say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to try that next time. Sorry, he died. Oh, Empire. Oh, so that means we're not going to have any viewers left at all. Well, Mr. Empire goes live with The Sims. Catch you later, Chris. Yes, we'll probably pop in. If you're still live after we come off in an hour and 15 minutes, then we'll we'll, we'll pop in and say hello. Enjoy playing your scene. Second channel, don't worry. Yeah. How's it's the still, Empire Bike? It's still most of the ones that come in and watch the, listen to us still are the ones that go into that as well. <laughs> yeah, you can just watch our good. audience just all fuck off now. <laughs> They'll probably keep it live and they'll probably keep it going in the background. But then, um, we're dropping beers like, I don't know what. Drop it, like. <laughs> but then, um, oh. Is it just me or you? The two things I'm sick of hearing about at the moment is labour bans in, in America and Brexit. What was Good. <laughs> in my humble opinion, people need to shut the hell up about Brexit because with all these delays, all this excuse after excuse after excuse as to why it hasn't happened yet, it's not going to happen. People need to accept that. They're just going to stall and stall and stall, and it's just going to end up that we're just going to end up staying in the EU anyway. So, you know, what was the point in having the referendum? Because if they had a really wanted to pay attention to what the British people wanted, we would have been out already. No, we wouldn't be out already. The 29th, the 29th would be out. Um, no, look, look. You're, uh, in all honesty, Roy, there's no way that this should have taken as long to do. No, it had, to, it had to be. That's going by, the, going by the rules of Brexit, under the referendum, the 29th of March this year, it's two years to the day after Article 50 was triggered, and that's it. That's that's the two years to do whatever they had to do. Yeah, but why did it take them a year, almost, to trigger Article 50? Because they had that's what that's in the referendum on the paper that was put forward for that referendum. Right. That was the dates, the, the dates, and everything else. The referendum were all set out beforehand. Well then, why did we not have to jump all the through all these hoops in 1972, whenever the UK was forced into the EU in the first place? 73. 
well, 72, 73, whenever it was. Okay. It was before I was born, I know that. But uh, Britain was put into that. They weren't given a choice in that matter. They were forced in. But now we're having to jump through all the hoops of saying bye-bye. Uh, they're demanding all this flipping money off us for it. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Uh, it should have been done and dusted a long time ago. And at the end of the day, we shouldn't have to pay for the privilege of becoming an independent member state. We right. shouldn't have to pay for that privilege. And Theresa May needs to grow a bloody backbone and actually stand up to not only the EU Council, but her own her own MPs. She has to learn to grow a backbone and stand the, up to them. No deal. We need to get out with a no deal and then the we can problem. sort something out. Uh, she, she's the problem because she was, a, she was a staunch remainer before she even went into it. So it's like... It's like putting a bloody fox in, in charge of the chicken coop. Why would you do no, something I, like that? Either way, I can't see Brexit happening. But then, it's not going to happen, because if it was, we would have been out by now. The EU is not going to give Britain a good deal. For simple reason we don't Britain need the Britain. EU for trade deals. There's so many other countries in the world that we have been happily trading with for years, and we will continue to do so. But the EU will not give... Hi. The, can you hear it this, this time? Yes, I can. Yay! The reason the EU <laughs> will not give Hi, Andy. The, the reason the EU will not give Britain a good deal is simple. If they give Britain a good deal, then Germany, France, and Spain are all going to jump on and say we want the same deal as the EU or as Britain, and that means the EU is dead and buried. So, end of story. No more, no more EU. She may have done, she may have been against Brexit. But she's trying to honour the people's vote. She's not saying it though. She's not. It's on the piece of paper when you went to vote that day. It didn't say leave with a deal, leave with this, leave with that. It says leave or stay. End of story. Yep. Uh, me and my high horse with Brexit. No, no, I get that. That's why I'm saying she needs to learn to grow back, though. You know, and. The only, the only thing that all this Brexit shit has taught me is that there's no such thing as democracy in the UK. Yeah. We're going to cry and cry and cry and cry and cry until we get our own way. A lot of your mayors. They have to, they have, you know, they, they're the ones that can learn the democracy. But yet, the votes happened. Suck it up. It said leave. Yeah, exactly. Good evening, TC. Good evening. How the heck are you? <laughs> Better now that this thing's bloody working. <laughs> yeah, it was. I found the what it was. The Skype was running in the background, so it decided to take my audio for the PC and tell me to piss off with it. You see, Skype, shut that down, disable it completely because it's the biggest pain in the arse ever. What's that? There is another Skype. installed it. I forgot Skype existed. But that's what VC is based on. That's the code for VC is Skype. Alright, so that's why it's. That's why. That's why. It, comes in with it and also it crashes up with it because it's, the code base is actually for VC is based on Skype. Yeah. And also no, MSN Messenger is now as well. Talk about that. You heard the latest. No. They're going to integrate WhatsApp, MSN Messenger and Instagram to be one service. Okay. So all your all the all the models that call themselves models, I think it's just about to find themselves not being models. Yeah, Germany can't afford not to make a deal. Right, one fact: if we in Britain did not buy any German cars, twenty-five percent of the German car would be out of work. That's one million people directly even more associated. Exactly, Andy. <laughs> the BMWs, the Mercedes, and um, Spain can't afford to lose the tomato, oranges, and apples sales to us. They also can't afford for us to put Spain, Germany, France and Belgium can't afford not to buy Irish lamb and that's north and south. They can't afford to buy not to buy it. So that's why that's why the EU is running scared because they know that Britain only the imports from the EU to Britain are twenty one percent and dropping. We only export twenty four percent or something stupid like that. 
So therefore, you know, that's why they're running scared because they know that Britain actually has all the keys to hold. And if you go into Tesco's, I looked in Tesco's today, up about when we were in the veg aisles. About seventy percent of that stuff I saw was from countries other than EU. Yeah, the biggest majority of the fruit and veg that goes into the likes of Tesco's and Sainsbury's all comes from Africa and South America. It does now. It, it did used to be um, EU companies. But yeah, we did thing, used to get a lot of stuff, for, uh, especially from Spain. The but biggest thing, though, for vapors is under the World Trade Organization rules, or vape gear will get cheaper. Really? Yeah. Where does it come from? Where does most of the vape gear come from these days? China. So, Britain sets up a non-tariff trade deal with China, which we export a heck of a lot of stuff to China and everything else. So if we get a non, non-tariff, non therefore all this crap that's coming, all your stuff that comes in gets stopped at customs, because it's... it's yeah, that'll cheaper. stop. It's going to get cheaper, because there's not going to be any tariffs on it. <coughs> so, vape mods that are really expensive at the moment will get cheaper because there's no tariff on it. Yeah. But while TC's there, what are you vaping on? The uh, usual three setups. Uh, it's the Aegis Legend with the Kylan 2. Legend. Uh, Mage V2 with the Aquatus RDA. Oh, you're not having it in stack mode tonight? No, I, the round wire's not giving me the flavour I need. Ah. So I'm waiting on my series Clapton's coming. And I've got the Vapress Lux with the gear out here on top of it. What do you think of the what do you think of the gear? It's a good tank. They could have made it bigger. Um and they could have made the wicking a bit easier. <coughs> I put too right? much too much wick into it and you end up with vapor luck. Which is a pain. Hiya Mark, and Mark, you never emailed me. Yeah, Mark, you won that t-shirt the other night and you didn't email Roy to uh, send him your address for it. Top, top. Roy, even the high-end and vape gear from the EU won't be affected. Yeah, from the EU. Yeah, but... I never, got, the, I never got an email, Mark. Did you check your spam folder? I've just realised that he's a coming through the telly and all the fucking speakers as well. <laughs> that was on Saturday, wasn't it? That was yesterday. What? No. No, it was Wednesday. Wednesday. What day was Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice bastard from my era. He says he's he says he's going to resend it once he gets home. No, didn't, didn't get it. Make sure you've got the right email address, which is. <coughs> so, are you going to Expo, TT? Uh, if I can get the funds. I was supposed to be going, but with recent um, personal problems, money's a pain. So, I think there's if, a lot of us in the same boat right now. Yeah, if I, I can get... If I can get the funds, then I'll be going. But if I can't, then I'll just need to miss it till October. I was going to think about holding out to October, but it's Michelle's first. Um, personally speaking, I think the October Expo is better than the May Expo. No, but everybody goes to the May Expo. I want to meet everybody. And it seems like there's quite a few people saying they can't make the May Expo. Yeah, there's a lot of country. But I don't know, I think, it's, I think it's more because I was more interested in the juice than I was the hardware. <coughs> See, I, 
I go to hang out with my mates. The, the juice and the hardware is just an added bonus for me. I, I go to spend time with people that I don't normally get to spend time with. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. At the start? And finish at the finish? Yeah. Oh my god. Like we looked at the floor plan last night and I was like, oh my god! That's oh yeah, it's huge. How many holes have they got this year? Three. 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 Yeah, three. Then I get make it through the three. It's one big long thing, so you just... The baby skate looks to be in a good place this year. Yeah, it's not right next to the stage at least. And have you noticed... If you, if you notice on the bit on the floor plan, there's very few of the stand actually around the back of the stage taken. I think that's stupid having stands behind the stage. They should have the stage against the back wall, <coughs> and you know, like because having like stalls behind that stage area is just ridiculously stupid. They've got quite a big area, and the catering area is right behind the stage. Is it? Yeah, so you're going to have to oh fight Oh shit, no way. it's not. It's not meant to be there. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to fight your way through the hordes of uh, free shack grabbers around the stage area if you want to go to the food court to get something to eat. Mm -hmm. No, I'll pass, thank you. If I want something to eat, I will either bring my own lunch with me or I'll nap right to Weatherspoons. But you can get down the sides and then the stage bits be in the middle. But I quite like... If they're going to put the stage in the middle, they put the, should put the stage right in the middle of the, the whole auditorium. Mm. No, they need to keep it away from the uh, chill-out zone, but... Yeah, but you have the chill-out zone then at the very far end. That's that's why I would personally do it. I'd have a chill-out zone at the very far end, um, down near the food zone, so that if you wanted food... Will I mark his Facebook, Jeff? Got it, Mark. <coughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's, Mark, it's, uh, I could have dropped that up round to you. We're, you know, we've, we're, we've got a BCP coming up this time, and up at, you're at Hillview. That's up near Capita. We've got one from Capita to drop it into you. <laughs> She's in the around the corner, oh. literally, then? Is from it? your work? Well, no, no, not from my work. From BCP, we've got a... There's a big place up at um, in Molusk where it's a contingency place. So if you lost all power, lost all systems at your your workplace, or it burnt down or something like that, then the whole work can just move across to it. Right. And it's just up near um, Hillview, but Capita that does does all the IT infrastructure behind behind the scenes. Yeah. Everybody's gone to watch Chris. I know. Any views after any new shinies at the moment? Or is it just me that's got shiny eyes just now? Well, I've already got my eyes on a few. What are you after? Quite a few, actually. Yeah, shiny eyes, the struggle is real. What are you after? Give me more shiny eyes. <laughs> well, you, you know I've been after the Crown 4 kit since before Christmas. And then, of course, my wonderfully fantastic pain in the arse minion what did he do this afternoon? Oh, did he take Rubbed my shiny itis even more by sending me the uh, pictures of the vicious ant spade. Oh, do you know what? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind one of those. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, just stuff right there that I would love to get my hands on right now, but just uh, zero money, so it ain't happening. No, that's, yeah, sure. I've got, I've got my own quite a few things that I want, but can't afford them. Mm -hmm. Oh. I will be getting Vic's new RTA as soon as it comes up. Yeah, I want one. Yes, the Kelpie. Yeah, I want getting, another yeah. one I need to get my hands on as well as the Kelpie. I want to get it just because it's named, because that's just... Oh, the Kelpie. Yeah. I'll be pre-ordering that next month when I get paid. Yeah, and I would dearly, dearly love uh, a custom PWM from Bill, but, you know, you know I'm a no zero rush for that because A, I don't have the money for it right now and B, you know, Bill's got a few health issues to sort out first so, you know, there's absolutely no rush whatsoever. Darren, I swear to God, man, if you weren't ill and dying right now, I would be booting you so hard in the nuts you'd be singing soprano. Yeah. Bruce, just hurry up and buy her a bloody crown kit already. Come on. 
Mark. No, that's not the length for the crown kit. That's the length for the three hundred and forty-nine pound spade. Oh my god, I know, but he needs to buy yeah. the crown kit first. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, that colour. Oh, that's the purple yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? I quite like it in the blue, though. Oh, no. Either the blue or the purple I like. Yeah. The black. Oh. The black and white one. Black and silver. Oh, that green yeah. one's hideous. Like <laughs> oh, that's... Where's the blue one? I don't know. No, maybe it was that one. It. I think it was that one actually, that purple and... Is that, is that meant to be blue and pink? Or blue and blue? It's just, I just I love, know. absolutely adore the spade. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Morgan's thinking about getting the glass V2. That's one I'm getting. Um, drip, drip drop, I've got them on for 30 quid. Um, so it looks like I'll be ordering that when I get paid as well. I still love that. TM24. Yeah. Especially mm. on that. I don't know, it just matches so perfectly. You like yeah. that, don't you, Bunny? Mm. You know what? Bunny, you like that too. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Be careful, Roy, you should just nick them. <gasps> so I, need to, I need to get my drop bed out of the box and clean that one again. Because so that one match so perfect. The and, rainbow. And What? What a melon! <laughs> what a melon! Okay. You'd always be eternally grateful for your. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's the unopened <laughs> sales bottle that will be coming up for a um, giveaway. giveaway. There's a bottle of it. There'll be a bottle of what? What a melon! I need to get that one next. Yeah. No. Ooh, don't oh, don't get, get lemon. That should be up next. Oh, and there's a. A bottle of that as well be up for giveaway. What's up? Oh, yeah. very appealing. Yeah. But it's only because the only reason I haven't done the reviews for these yet is because they have to go into Subble magazine first of all, and they've got enough. Peacemaker. I've never tried it, Ian. To be quite honest. Um, they have to go into Subble magazine first of all, and um, before I can release them on video. Because it was Subble. For purposes of review, <coughs> and there is Mr. Bill, Bill Byrne himself. Bill, our thoughts and wishes are going out to you, mate. Um, take it easy and stop drinking those bloody six million cans of energy drinks. Hey, Bill, big sweaty hug. Yeah, yeah Michelle was saying last night she misses your glorious beard. <laughs> The only thing I'm desperate to get at the moment is the Argent RTA. I already have ordered the PNR and Bill and the Empire Mod, so I don't really want them as well. Oh, I don't know if Bill saw a picture of his, his beautiful coils all rainbows. Yeah, he turned out beautiful. Mm-hmm. If I can find the picture of it. Looking gallery. Yeah. I am. Shh. Two peacemaker. Right. That was one of the few clapping. Yeah, I can't believe how well the colours come up on those. They're absolutely beautiful. They came up so pretty. It's a shame they don't stay that colour, though. I know. Oh, man. That'd be wicked if they did, wouldn't it? But I've got pretty much all the colours into that. Yeah. Yep. Like the blue, purple, black, blue, orange, orange. 
that was using the super awesome quality tool to make sure that the leg lengths were right as well. There's a guy, um, Simon Lemon Martin. Simon Martin Lemon. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, he posted in a group and he's after a thing that will help him cut legs and measure the posts and everything else. That's that like quality tool after, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I think, um, I think uh, we know the we know the owner. We all know the designer of that product, and I think he's working on an app or something at the minute, isn't he? I don't know. I've keep. I've keep... Yes. Look, you see, Thomas has got one. <coughs> Roy's got like a thousand. Yeah, plus that. I've got my Michelle's. I've got a silver one. 007 downstairs. Oh, I know that. Well, I have a, a purple one and I have a fact I've got two purple ones and I've got a gold one and yeah, I absolutely you should have one that says great. You should have one on it that says um um bitches on it that's Yes, but that one is for Bill. Exactly. I keep forgetting to send it. Yes, I know I'm bad. <laughs> I keep forget. I do. I keep forgetting to post it. I keep forgetting to lift it every time I go out. If I'm, you know, any time I'm going near the post office, that's the one day that it's not it's until I'm Tuesday. passing said post office that I remember I should have lifted it. So. Tuesday. <laughs> Bill, but they won't. Bill, they won't have helped though when it's stress, stress induced um, cardiomyopathy. The all those energy drinks would not have helped in the slightest that weakens the system. Um. And put the buildup of stress onto it, plus the fact that you tend to work your beard off. Yeah. Um, and don't sleep for a week. Don't sleep for a week, and then panic about the orders and everything else that you're getting. Um, and you know the, the success of your business is caught up on you as well at the same time. But the fact that you don't sort of say, right, I've got this number of orders to do, and it'll be a week. When I get back to you, you go, no, you take the order and I'll get it out to you in two days. And you, and you sit and you work your wee backside off getting them out because that's the type of person you are. So, put it. Calm down. He needs a holiday. He does. He needs, he needs to go to Expo. Yeah, come to Expo. I want to meet that glorious beard. <laughs> You'll never see that glorious beard. It's up there with me. I'm crying out loud. I keep forgetting you're all bloody giant. <laughs> oh my god. I hope then little people don't try to recruit me or something. <laughs> I'm bringing the orange paint with me in the... What is it called? What oompa, the... oompa, no, oompa are they not the... The little army ones? Yeah, but they've been everything. The Roompa Loompas one year, they were little... They were the um, majors, soldiers oh, the next the major, day. Major, major flavour. <laughs> <coughs> but the Roompa Loompas, the first year I went... Oh, I no, the will be at Expo. Yeah. Well, good lad. Um, I have pre-warned Jay as well. Um, that you'll be there on the Sunday afternoon to dismantle the expo for him. Yeah. <laughs> and Saints, or you and you and Smurf could <laughs> could join forces and be the demolition company. So. See, Skirter's had a. He's been left out in the rain too long. Yeah, he's rusted. Yep. What colour is his hair now? Is it red or is it ginger? It's red. It it's a very, very bright red because he peroxided it first. It's so it has come out Why really, really bright. Hi, Dez. Well, if you're talking about more, it's current than not. It looks more orange on the camera. I, yeah, on camera, I honestly I was like, is he from Ginger? <laughs> No, his hair he looks more orange on the camera. Oh, man. Oh, Wait, it's, it's it's Steve. Steve, Steve. we we'll let you on camera as well if you wanted to. You'd be, well, you'd be all means you're welcome to call in and break your... Vape lounge duck. That's Steve Dave with his glorious red bacon. Looks orange to me, doesn't it? Really know. I'm only going by what Mo said. Mo said it's red. I'm taking him at his word. Everyone says it looks orange. It looks like he's been handled. Yeah. I still have been let down the rain. Had a bath in that good old iron wheel. I, he stuck his head onto a bag of watts, didn't he? Hey, it does. He wasn't talking about it. He wasn't talking about TC, he was talking about you. 
me or Michelle? You. It's always you said him. Who let him? I'm always in camera. This is. I'm just a gate crasher here, you know. <laughs> it's orange. It's. Yeah. I agree. It's orange. Chelsea, come up soon. Even village agrees. <laughs> It looks, it looks like M and M. I said it last night. I'm not saying it again. Looks it looks like M. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Lee said about that. The bear is saying it. Tell us, fill us in. Nope. Fine. <laughs> no, I'm not repeating that one on air. <laughs> Sandy, if you want to uh, send Roy a private message and tell him what you said last night, that's fine, but I ain't repeating it over the airwaves because it made me cringe. That bad. Oh. <laughs> They're going to remember what you said. Nope, you had to be there. I was there, but it was too busy trying to sort out the views. Yeah, Sandy, <laughs> two reviews out in two days. Yeah, somebody would think you were actually a review. It's Michelle. It's Michelle keeps threatening him with these hostile takeovers, right. and she's cracking the whip and making sure that he does the work. You know. Mm -hmm. I can either do that. I still work my hands on that stuff. Or that. What for your next review? Yeah. Do you know what? Keep that one until you get the twister and put it in the case. What? Underneath it. That's where we're getting twister from. Okay. Or that. Well, you really should review that considering you've had it a year. Or just take it in my goodie box. That. Mm. Mm. I love that word. Let's go up and rob it, Bonnie. She robs that, then I rob X. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> you can get your hands on my head. Or that. Well, there's, I've got a, I've got a no drills were used in the making of this coil. Let me see this belt. Yeah, you should have a look at this one, I think, is. In the giveaway box? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is that one. Oh. Wow. That was handmade. Seriously, Bill, you did that by hand. You no drill. That one. Yep. Nice. I was sitting on my Zoom call while I was doing it. Oh my god, that is beautiful. There's not enough in tonight for a giveaway. But yeah. we have a giveaway. Yeah, that's it. Roy, click that link that Bill has put in there. You see that I've coil? I've got the coil made. up at the minute. I'm looking at it. That, one. Mm. that yeah. is a sexy-ass so, coil. So I made it by hand. He's currently making the baby motion. Someone put in a review site. Ain't nobody. Ain't, nobody ain't nobody got, got time for that. So he's got he's got this. And he has. What? When did you get a Nova? That's mine. I've had that for ages. That's gorgeous. I do like that. That's one of those. Uh, oh sh I was very tempted to buy one of those at the Manchester Expo. The I the full kit. Yeah. I bought that like last last summertime. I did. <laughs> and it's his favourite colour. Oh yes, he has to review yeah. that. He has to review that. See, this is my stash that I'm giving up my review now. <laughs> God Almighty! It's beautiful. <laughs> you love it, and I just dropped the rest of the content off the box. Don't eat salt packets. Oh, I'm going to do a chair. It's all right. I'm just picking up all the stuff out of the box. <laughs> Folks, that review should be interesting to watch. If to say, if not, to say the least. He's like, mm, the colour's awful. Never mind. Right, yeah. we're, losing, we're, we're bleeding. We are bleeding years like there's no tomorrow. It's because there's twenty other shows on at the moment. <laughs> But yeah, so there will be that up for a giveaway when, when we have more viewers in. 
His favorite color, of course. And we also have... That's big ass weight, Matt. That's a big weight. One of, one of those up for a giveaway. Pardon? Said it's huge. Yeah. It's about the size of me, that one. Almost, at least. And some more of those. Mm -hmm. Battery wraps. Yay. I could give that away. But I'm not. I <laughs> didn't think so. But yeah, Bill, that does look absolutely um, fantastic. Um, that's a testament to your testament to your work, your workmanship, to what you know what you do, and that's why one of the reasons why that's one when, when you're writing down all your little pros and cons to whether you should keep your business running or not, then that should be a big pro, big and the pro side. At the, at the end of the day, there's only one person on this earth that can make a decision on what you do with your business and the direction your business goes, and that's yourself. Don't let anybody else influence you from the outside world. Do what you can, what what tell you what you have to do and what you what you don't have to do. I want to see him to put a disclaimer on his page and just it can take up to seven days for it to be delivered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to rush the coils and everything else, and he can take breaks like he's supposed to. You yeah, know, he see, shouldn't have to set work and He should be fit to do it in his own time. Mm -hmm. well, set work and things. The, the best things in life are worth the wait, so you know. Exactly. Um, People well, I, I can to, that I can totally agree with. Yeah. I can yeah. testament to Bill's coils being great. Yeah, so can I. I've got loads of them. Yeah, I'm waiting on me coming. I've already went through two packs. Mm -hmm. Full. Them already. What other ones have you got in there? Anyone's up and tried? No, you've tried them all. I've got them all out. The only ones, the ones that you need to be your FP mm -hmm. are the roses. Yeah, I've got one left, these frame staples I've got. Um, Bill, I will be wanting to put another order in again when you're back in your feet again. So it's no rush on it. Whatsoever. Um, so whenever you do get back on your feet, if and when you do. But anybody that hasn't got Liz, whenever he does his back on his feet again, um, you should definitely try them. The coils yeah. are amazing. I can highly, I can highly recommend them, Liz. I've had the same set of uh, Bell's coils in my FP since September. They are, that well, right. they are that well made that every time I have to, you know, clean and change the cotton and anything like that on them, they are the easiest coils to clean. Mm -hmm. Testament to so, it. So easy to clean. If you think about it, myself, oh, doesn't matter about me. Chris, Vic, Mark, Dean. That's four big, four big names. They buy their coils and they use Bill Burn coils. Mm -hmm. They buy them. They don't get them free. No, no reviewer gets their coils free from Bill. If the reviewer wants to do it, yes, he gives he gives us a bit of discount on it for reviewers. But, but at the end of the day, he's still up to pay for them. Chris mm -hmm. or um, Vic, Vic gets yes. free coils. So he can't. He can't get free. Who's got, who am I going to take? Never mind again. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yours, Tom. Just happens. Um, How's that? Uh, that's it. That's it. Still a little echo, but it's not as bad. But the fact that they buy coins and they buy the number of coins and use them is testament to how good they are. Mm -hmm. So that was the yeah, that was thing. They sound good, but obviously the company comes first. Exactly, Les. Exactly. <clears throat> but yeah, they are uh, amazing coils. 
Stepping on the dodo. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut castle. Castle coconut. Oh my god. Shit. It's the fact that these guys that made Dodo, they're four friends who travelled the world. Um, and it was their flavours and experiences from all around the world that and, and made them to make the juices. And that's why mm. each juice has got a story with it. That's that's fantastic. that's perfect now. What have you done, T C? Is that better? Yep. I can hardly hear you though. Two seconds. I don't know why I had it was picking up the microphone of the camera. Is that better? That's, That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Need not sign clear any suggestions and a pair of wire cutters. Rub the coil master one. Ian Morgan for um, ultrasound cleaner. Keep an eye on Little. For Aldi. You don't have Aldi here. Oh, And if you want good wire snips. I got these in uh, Ziggy Sigs. They're the uh, UD ones. Those are absolutely brilliant. They're like small toys. <laughs> they are. They're quite tiny. They're my size. No, in your in your <laughs> hand, in your hand, the whole be. Yeah, but those those wee UD snips are absolutely brilliant. Those wee snips in Michelle's hand would look like that. <laughs> <laughs> first thing we'll do more is tell it has time and then come first to court. Exactly, Bill. Um, <coughs> getting those. I've got my pencil. Full of odds um, that's a small purse, by the way, in her hand. Oh. But yeah, Bill, the, the mods definitely would have to come first. Um, anybody that anybody would understand that, because you'll make more in one mod the time spent on it as you would in the number of coins you'd make in that time. That's that's the way life life goes, and if you want snips, you'll never expect to get complete stuff that doesn't have to be. Well, there's the person he uses. He probably snips more wire in a day than has had done in a day, and the rest has done it in a year. I thought funny it was funny. Cheers is there. Cheers. <laughs> funny. Why? I know it's a Sunday. Why have you got an inverted cross? Yeah. Take a drink of your take a drink of your drink again. Yeah, I know it's on my card again. Inverted cross. <laughs> Toss my arms up that way. <laughs> and I'm not religious anyway, so it hardly matters to me. I don't do religion. Me this causes too many arguments. Yep. So He's had a special guest on the bitches on Friday night. We did. We had a very special guest on the bitches on Friday night. The lesser spot at St. Lake. Yes. And guess what, folks? He speaks. He's so Scottish. Oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's TC? He's so Scottish. Yeah, no, I had them. He came into your Zoom call yeah, and then fell asleep. Yeah, because we did. We even had him on a Zoom call afterwards, and he, he even spoke on there too. And oh my then, God. yep, then he disappeared off camera, left his camera running, but disappeared. And we thought, where'd he go? And then the snoring started. <laughs> oh, that's epic! He went. He went and lay down and fell asleep and forgot to switch off his camera. Here, it could have been worse. The yeah, camera could have been set up like this. The bed behind him being stripped off. Oh, you could have watched some fucking beauty. He doesn't remember the Zoom call. <laughs> oh. Well, he was kind of tanked up at the time. He was drinking plenty, so. See, mm -hmm. you're very welcome to call in here if you want to for a little yeah, bit. Come join us. You know, you might as well. Yeah, you've got me on VC, so you know, if you want to call in, go ahead, and well, we won't you force well... you to, and we won't force you to speak either. You could balance. You could balance it out. Well, you may not. I need my okay. Scottish to come back out again. He's got me saying everything's grand now. Hiya, Mike. How's it going, sir? 
Stop, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. What the fuck was that? Oh no. <laughs> I'm on one. What you been putting in her coffee? I don't know. You've been lacing her with LSD again. Whatever it was, it was something sinner sent me. I'm on my seat quiet at the start of the show and then it's like getting near the end, that's when I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Hi UK Andy, you slipped in there as well. Hi UK Andy. No, as I don't have headphones, hey, it's a mic and don't want to cause an echo. Not bad, not nice work. Uh, good to, good to, good, and a man out working on a Sunday. Good to see. Mm. Oh dear. I'll have to get Liz on sometime. No, Liz should join in. Come She's on, good man. bantering. She's You've good. no hope. You've no hope. No. You'll never get Liz on camera. We've been trying. You'll never get Liz on camera. Mind you, that's what I said, and then all of a sudden it ended up on Gibber's show once upon a time. Yeah, that was the start of a slippery downhill slope. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Just her girl. I feel sorry for her. She's lumbered with me. The Gibber's like the little fairy godmother. <laughs> Yeah, but saying you had an ulterior motive for coming on with us on Friday night because you were trying to badger us into getting bloody Patreon. Patreon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You being a gobshite now? Yeah. Yes. Really? No, go on. Let's hear it. No. <laughs> no. Not my place to say. Freaking nightmare, all one job, I couldn't get to the pickup point due to a darn sinkhole. And no before it <laughs> 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 Oh So that's what caused that sinkhole. I don't think that would cause a sinkhole, I think that would cause a landslide. I wondered why it was so windy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Mike's passing gas again. <laughs> I'm just not getting the same in this thing. What are you doing? Like, the warrior. The warrior. When the warrior meets the legend. <coughs> it actually goes really well. That was one art. That was one RDA. I was really disappointed with. Yeah, I can't say I'm overly. Best snips for the av average user. But no new build would probably be forty quid. Yeah. Eighteen quid. Oh, it's huge. Three, four. No, I'm not. For once, I've not <laughs> had a curry. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Forgot to put. I'm still loving my FP. I really am. Yeah, it's a great time. Yeah. Hey, you me, pasty. Hey, pasty. Hey, pasty. Hey, pasty. Hey, pasty. Pasty. Pa. P A is pa. Yeah, it's not. It's pasty, Stur. not I E at the end. Like a pasty. That's a pasty. Pasty. Sorry. Pasty. Pasty. <laughs> pasty. Pasty. <laughs> it's okay, we're slowly okay. teaching her the English okay. language, slowly but surely. I'm so bad, I butcher everything, seriously. Funny, you do washing, don't you? Oh my god, don't. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you know the way you can get, you get the ones with two leads on it? What's the point of the two leads? Extra thick, of course. On the detergent to put in the washing machine. I don't use like with detergent, I use powder. Alright. But you get one lid to keep the stuff dry, and then you get one lid if you're measuring out to put in into the machine. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, somebody used the wee lid off the top that keeps the stuff dry. I thought that was just the amount of detergent you put into the washing machine. I don't know what I'm saying. I was left to my own device for Project X. That's what you did. So he left you unsupervised? He did, yeah. And I was just winging it outside. <laughs> and I read the bottle, and the bottle's like had on the diagram had a picture of the little cup. It didn't have the big gravy boat. No, it has the big gravy boat in the picture. No, but it didn't. It did. It did not. It didn't too. <laughs> I'll go and get it if you want. <laughs> in my eyes, it didn't. Anyway. Got the glass so, RTA. Now I must be doing something wrong. Very dry, not not dry heads, but a dry vape. I yeah, I did there's Turner. He's got the glass V2. Um, he's not is that what you were going on to him about this afternoon? Get it ordered? Yep. Yeah? No, actually not. That, that was for the Steamcraft um, PWM mod kit. The Titan? Yeah. The so Titan mod? Kit. It's the mod oh, plus the tank. So he, he, uh, he bowed to the pressure? Yeah. Well, he was debating on if he was going to buy it. And me and Ronnie decided just to keep sending our messages. And then he caved and well, he has it on its way now. <laughs> Cornish pasta. All right, okay. Yeah. It's just the pasties you get in Northern Ireland. Is it not problems. when you... Mm-hmm. Is that the same size as the FP? That's the glass V1. Like that, cost, bastards. That, that cost Michelle a fortune. Do you know what? It was worth every penny. It really was. <laughs> oh, shit. Mike, send me a message on Facebook or join the Zoom call later on. I'll see if I can help you with it. Yeah, join the Zoom call. No doubt we'll be on there at the stupid o'clock in the morning again. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Oh, Zoom call. Zoom. Yeah, the Zoom call. Yeah. yeah, we've got nothing better to do, so we sit on Zoom every night. Are you on it during the day? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I'm usually on the Zoom call from 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You think they're going to be on the morning. Well, if I'm at home and they're on, Michelle, I'll fire you a message. Mm-hmm. TVP group. Yeah, in between all the. Stuff in TVP's grip. <laughs> yeah, TVP's grip is not for the faint hearted, put it like that. So when do we start the whole expo hype and bringing up the floor plan and talk about it? <sighs> no idea what you mean by it. I don't know, there's some mods that, there's some female mod in that TVB, TVP group that's, you know, really hard hitting and slags to the bone. I, I could possibly comment on that. I think all the mods in there are actually quite keen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't say that with straight face. <laughs> <laughs> could you just imagine a party with Liz and Lisa? Oh, that'd be epic. That would be epic. But think about it is. Les, Les and Beasy Bear in the same room. Jesus, that'd be hilarious. Okay, we know what Beasy's like in front of a camera, but is Liz going to be. Is Liz. Would Liz be the same as Sandy? She's an angel. Keyboard warrior. Angel by day. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Stevie's grip is definitely not for the faint hearted or the snowflake. I remember being told I should have been dumped out the back of the maternity ward in a donate <laughs> bag. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, TVP's grip is what it is. And yeah, you know, you know rightly that the insults that are thrown at you, you know, you don't take them seriously. It's just it's like it's Mark, just on, Mark on camera. Mark will slag to the backbone, but in person you can be a nicer person. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. Busy in front of a camera equals on the loo. Yes, that is very true, Bill. He's forever posting. You see all his posts on Facebook and stuff like that, and he always posts selfies from the toilet. Dropping the kids off at the pool. Yeah, yeah, he likes to do that a lot. Exactly, it is, it is all fun. Um, and, you know, it's... I don't comment much on it, I do watch it. Mm-hmm. In person, he's a pussycat. Yeah, he is, Mike. He is. He's got shit tasting cars, too. You'll see his new car. Yeah, I saw the picture he put up earlier. Better than his naughty car. Yeah. He rocks up to. Hey, Mark, we all have met Mark before, and Mark rocks up to the expo. And he says, I just got up here and I think, what did you drive? And we were all looking around the car park to see what he was driving. Nobody, and I can guarantee you now, you could have got everybody in, that, in, in the grip to go to point out what car Mark drove up in, and nobody would have got it right. A wee Fiat 500 at a bar. Yep. <clears throat> Probably the smallest car in the car park the whole week is. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Yeah, Andy, did you not see the post he put out on Facebook a few hours ago? I'm in back, I have bought a new wagon. Yeah, it's um, <coughs> the Ford Eco Sport. Mm. Yeah, who the fake drives a roller skate named a barf. <laughs> oh no, wait, this has not got that in it. This has got um, really good pictures in it. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it just, he's went from a small hairdresser's car to a big hairdresser's car. <laughs> <laughs> No bit. Also, it's a very little bit. <laughs> yep, all tits, no ass in the shell says. What's he bought? Nissan Nissan Leaf. Cougar Eagle Cougar Ford Cougar Eagle Sport. Mm-hmm. Mr. Summerfield. Doesn't make a great taxi, so I don't think you'll be inspect that. Well, he could have rocked up in a bloody one of them smart cars, you know what I mean? That smart for two? <laughs> smart for four? I need one of them. What they call is pipe, little pipe. <laughs> Revved up. Flintstones car. Bubble, Bubble car. car. <laughs> yeah, one of those ones that Jeremy Clarkson... Yeah, you could always have a lane. He's a quad bike. I want a Lego car. <laughs> I may be enough for you. Yeah, he's man's quad bike. Yeah. He's keeping the speed too. Yeah. Oh my god. Mind you, you could park it in the living room. It'll make a nice centerpiece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm on the FT on the DX200 with. I think it's got Ruby Custard in it, because that's what it kind of feels like. It's the VX200. Eh? Oh no, it's the V200, sorry. The V200. The one with the weird button that I couldn't find for half an hour. Yeah, it's not yeah. the FP either, it's the FU. It's the... I'm always saying that when I park my motorbike front tyre right for the sun, don't you? Here, Andy, when you're my tall... Andy, you might enjoy that. When you're my, when you're my height, the sun shines everywhere. <laughs> Oh, and the sun shines out of my arse. Oh, it's certainly not right. <laughs> Put it this way, and how windy my arse is at the minute, as soon as you park it, I'll fart and it'll put you backwards to about 6,000 miles per hour. Yeah, tornadoes mm-hmm. come out of that place, you know. Not sunshine. 
<laughs> big guns, what'd you get me from the liquor store? What was the bottle Welcome of Welcome back, big guns. Welcome back. Party at Big Did you get another time. chat with you on, on uh, Facebook soon, but BJ? Miss you. <laughs> yeah, right, this time. Yeah, BJ brought back beer. Happy days. Happy yeah. days. Americans call piss water beer, don't they? Miller's. Bud. I like the lizards. The Budweiser lizards were funny. You can't, West, uh... you can't beat a talking camel. Yeah, the harp. Hey, Lawrence, give us a pint of harp and I got it. <laughs> You see, I'll show you later. <coughs> oh, he drinks real beer. And what do you call real beer? Mike, do you carry oh, uh, and a work bag of pans? I can. ER6 in. That bottle of vanilla vodka is screaming my name, but I can't drink it like it. Exactly, Bill. Just post it across to me. <laughs> oh, the guns is on the IPA. Oh my god. Mm. Indian Pale Ale. Oh, That's ale, not beer. I think the name. The, 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 it tells Closing you the, the name. name. Mm-hmm. It tells you the name that it's ale, not beer. I drink real beer. He drinks IPA. Must have loved it. I didn't even know what IPA meant. Like Indian pale ale. Indian pale ale. Until a couple of months ago, I was like, <laughs> that is a fair it's, one. Some of the IPAs are not bad, but to be to be honest, they're an acquired taste. They're disgusting. Do you know in Edinburgh, there's actually a brew dog bar. Yeah, there's one in Liverpool now as well, because uh, Chris is all excited. Because <laughs> you know how he likes his brew dog. He'd be living in there soon. Yeah. I'm waiting for the day that he gets a brew dog bloody fridge next to the shop. Oh! David <laughs> was saying it's better than your Bailey's, TC. It is. Oh, Bailey's. I like Bailey's. Only in the UK is everyone so picky. Yeah, we're What's just uh, particular about what we like. And, you know, Roy used to be a barman by trade, uh, Big Guns, so yeah. Does that sense? And I used to do cask. I uh, am fully trained in cask, cask beers, which is real beers. Yeah, craft beers. Yeah. But they're only called craft beers now. But they were called beer whenever before there was the mechanized pumps. Bill has got the new apple and strawberry absolutes on the way, and the lime and raspberry as well. Yeah, I've got I've got a wee thing downstairs full of of, of um absolutes. I didn't mean yours. Yeah. <coughs> but um, you know there was a there was a bar in Liverpool that there's a vodka no Leeds sorry not Leeds a vodka bar, hundred and seventy four different flavors of vodka. Oh my god! Wow. And I've tried every single one of them. I still love you, Roy. I know about beer. I just want to get drunk and cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Lefty blonde for the win. None of this weak flat, weak fish. You know what's actually a nice, nice pale ale? Belfast blonde. I've not tried that. It's there's a brewery, what's it called? The Hilden Brewery at Lisburn. Hilden Brewery in Lisburn does it. Works in a couple of barbecue things there in the summer, and um, they do a Bel- It's called Belfast Blonde. It's actually quite nice for Neil. <coughs> if you ever go to Sheffield, Bill, if you ever get across to, to England, go to Sheffield. They do a beer that's. Um, 17.4% proof, big tar. 
I'll get you drunk. Got an old 883 cover, smaller than the stock 883 as marketed to get women on highlights. Are you trying? No, Mike. I just. I can appreciate the work that goes into a Harley Davidson. I can appreciate why everybody falls all over themselves to get one, but no. I'm not a Harley Davidson fan. I'm not a fan of that type of bike. What's a nice larder? Harp. Harp's nice Harp, Harp ice cold. Harp ice cold. I'm not. I'm not that fussed on the really cold, really cold ones. Oh no! If you're having a lager, it's better cold. But a good, a good pint of Harp through a properly cleaned pump. Yes. And well maintained pump is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, the Sportsman and Ballet Player used to be the used to be one of the few places out of the the class. Not been there. I've not been in there in years. Proper pint of harp because the manager there looks after the lines. Oh, well, I go to I go to Joey's Bar for that. Joey's Bar up in Ballymoney, you get a decent pint out there. But it's all about the lines. You know, people think you know, tasting a beer or a lager or anything from a can is like crap compared to drinking it from um, a properly pulled pint from a pump. Mm -hmm. Or a bottle. Bottle of beer. You know, a bottle of harp is good. Problem is, Mike, I don't suit Harleys. They're difficult to turn and I have enough to get getting round right hand as it is. But Andy, a Harley would be better when you spike more taxis. <coughs> Most You're still going to get an ass whoop on the egg, but you do realise that's right. I know. I must admit, I, I do love trying all the beers and ales at Peter's at Beale Fest. I don't remember any of the names in the night, but I just tend to drink every beer there. It's it's fun. But. Peppered. What was it? Peppercorn and chilli vodka is vile. Just, just put that out there, folks. Anybody ever offers you a peppercorn and chili vodka? Don't. Uh, no, thank. You. No. no, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> I used to make homebrew lager years ago. Better, but homebrew is. It's the satisfaction of when you open that bottle, knowing that you've brewed that yourself, and you go. Bottle? No, screw that. Make it by the keg. But you have to bottle it to get the, to get it. No, you don't. Yeah, keg and a beer tap, you're all good. Yeah, keg and a beer tap. Doesn't taste as good. You bottle it, tastes you better. Want a bit? It tastes better bottled. Always you want a bit? tastes better bottled. Okay, you say so. Always, because yeah, it's because of the it's the glass and the yeast. It's the way that it's it's the traditional way of making a beer. But I will always, if you if you made a batch of the same the same stuff, and you put one into your the wee keg. And put one into bottles. I can guarantee you now your bottle will taste better than your keg. It still tastes good in your keg, but it will taste better in the bottle. It will. A Harley is not a knees down bike. Do that unless you you know, you've got to get a breather. No, you've got to get a buell, not a blue bell, a buell. Read it properly. I haven't got my glasses on. That's not. You are going to try my patience one of these days. You were given those glasses for a and reason. I was never given them. I bought them. Michelle, get them. I bought them. That wasn't given them. I bought them. They're downstairs in my coat pocket. Yeah, which is no use to you when you're sitting in front of this computer. But it will be used to me tomorrow when I go to work and I remember taking them with them because they're in my pocket. I'll do the simple thing, buy another fucking pair. That's what I told him. One get get them your, your prescription, them. order them online, six ninety five a pair. <clears throat> From glasses to right. Oh wait, I've got that non-nail screw, that might work. <laughs> I'll grill a glue your ass. Is that Oh I. Yeah, she may look a bit taller. I had to drink 36 of <laughs> beer to get the bottle. Yeah, I'm sure that was such a struggle for you. Yeah. It's, it's already all the way down, I think. 
Oh, I'm not full today. Give me a phone. Oh! Yeah, I'm taller. Ooh, I'm on top of the world. You've seen the... Oh, what's the view like? What's the view like from up there? Oh my goodness, my feet don't even reach the floor now. I can, I can they don't even up. reach the metal legs at the bottom. Wait, I can't. Where's my tippy toes? Just my tippy toes. That's alright. You can sit there and swing your feet down. They're feeling noisy. You can just kick them. Yeah, I'm just going. Woo! <laughs> I, I really must stop getting on with the ambience and spanking the taxis. Yeah, I think, I think that, uh, that, that joke has died to death now. It was so much fun when it lasted. <laughs> but Andy, I will. We'll dig a hole, we'll bury that one. <clears throat> The main thing was that he, he survived it, you know, she had a bit of a limp and everything else. Well, that was, that just took me back to the, youth, the days of my youth and getting the wee dumpy bottles. Sitting around the back of the rock to drink them. <laughs> I did try one German beer, it was from, like, it was like their own, what pub they went to, it was their own, like, their own beer. And it had no bubbles in it at all, so it literally went down. And it was really nice, actually. I don't like beer, but oh my god, the headache in the morning. One dumpy bottle mm -hmm. is full. If I suppose. Oh, yeah. Says yeah. Mr. Two Companies, anybody? <laughs> Three pints. You had two cans at the opening of Bal Balamain of Ape Club, and you were staggering home. I wasn't staggering home. You did a couple of times stagger when we were walking down Wellington Street because you walked into me and nearly put me out into the road. I did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. You're so mean. I know. I know. <laughs> Yet, show me a bottle of vodka. No, village is not a cheap date, trust me. I am. Like, one drinking on drink. I am a cheap date if you, if you drink, put me on pints. Uh, yeah, if you give him beer, he's a cheap date. Village, it literally is. I used to drink beer. When I, lived, when I lived here, I could drink beer. Whenever I used to go to Nason's, it was pints of Smithics. I could not yep. buy pints of Smithics. Sniff of the barmaid apron. <laughs> <laughs> no, Near uh, like, no. Near enough. But <clears throat> because I lived in England, I couldn't drink what their pissy excuse was for beer. I couldn't drink it. So, of course, not the vodka. And, of course, because English measures are smaller than Northern Irish measure, measures, on vodka, yeah. I was having to drink doubles. So if I was going for a night out, all I drank was double vodkas a whole night through. And one wee bottle of Coke was lasting me seven vodkas. Go to Scotland and you just get served with them in a bucket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> bottle of Lurgan champagne. <laughs> No, no. No, Lur Lurgan champion. Fuck it. Fuck fast. Thomas Gaggle. Thomas Gaggle, I know what he's thinking on. <laughs> he likes the fucky. No. 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 I had um, Mobro and Beauty Andy pissing themselves last night. Have you ever heard the Fuck Fast Rhapsody? Um. English measure equals is that is that it? Northern Ireland measure, decent Spanish measure. You can you can stop for that. that. Yeah, yes, that is true. That is very very true. Drink Belgian beers as they're a lot nicer. The only one of the English beers I used to like was with this kind of. But Andy, you're. You're southern, that means you like that flat stuff, that eel beer stuff that's flat and done from the hand pump and it's just absolutely vile. Aye, this shandy drinking southerners. England, you have to order triple spirit. I just ordered double because it was like a sixth of a gill compared to a quarter of a gill. 25 mil compared to 35 mil. Basically. 
Michelle, I've sent you the link on Facebook Messenger. We'll watch it after. Yeah, I'll watch it yeah. after. <laughs> <coughs> I just, oh, just, just be rude and just, yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> In my local pub, I get my closures and I stay behind the bar. <laughs> Only in England. Only in England. Mm-hmm. Whereabouts are you, Mike? Or you two? Because when have I drunk and Shandy? <laughs> I've never seen you drink, Andy. You've never seen him drink? No. I have. <laughs> Bloody cheek. I'm a seller and I can't stand the old geezer's bitters. <laughs> My brother-in-law, my well, brother-in-law and I, um, my first, when I first joined the army, like a bag out of it again, I went and stayed with him for two months in London. And he took me to the pub down the bottom of the corner and he said, I'll buy you a beer. And they set up this thing and I looked at it and I was like, what? Yeah, what the hell's that? It was warm. Um, and it, ugh, it was disgusting. Since when on the subject of drinking, what whiskey or whiskey do you enjoy? Uh, me personally, Big Guns, I tend to uh, drink Jack Daniels. Um, but oh, whiskey is a bourbon. Yeah. Say, Thomas is on the skin way away. It's a bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey. So. Uh, but yeah, I like, um, I like my Jack, but uh, of the... Like, Irish whiskies or Scotch whiskies, I would tend to go for black bush. Whenever I used to drink whiskey before my stag do, it was Bushmills or black bush. Bushmills, I would have had to have it with a wee drop of coke or a wee drop of water. Black bush, you just you can just drink it straight. No, with black bush, I like the coke. Are you still using flintlock muzzles loading muskets when you signed up? In other words, you're a little far. It was 1988 when I first joined the army. There we go. Down in Bobbington Camp, down in Dorset. JD's Bushmills single malt. There's Andy knows a good, a good. But to be honest, only Irish or Scottish whiskies are the true whiskies. Anything else is only in, and everything else is only a, a week. Okay, that'll be a okay, forty-seven. Actually, Mike, we get the first <coughs> first batch of um, SA Yiddies in, and we've been out and drill. And you had to be very careful on how you set the butt down on them. If you set the butt down too hard, just actually set it down normally, it split. It's what they'll get. They went with the Germans, went with the German manufacturers instead of, they had the option of a British made or a, an American made rifle at the time when they were bringing in the new rifles and they brought in the German made SA Yeri. That was a bad idea. Yeah. That leads me yeah, the SA Yiddy that kept jamming. It's it's right. It's it was an absolute absolute nightmare of a weapon. When you think about there's a chance of the M M sixteen or the M forty at the time from the, from the Americans, they were they were the Americans were chomping the bit to supply the British Army with them. It's that bad whenever you know the SAS don't actually use SA Yiddies at all. That's how bad a weapon it is. Really depends on what type of drinking you're doing. If it's a session, it's cheap rough whiskey. If it's just a glass or two, a nice fifteen year old or longer. I want to try yeah, Darren likes his whiskey, by the way. Big guns. If you want to try something from the UK, then I would very highly recommend either Blackbush, um, Powers, is a sort of good Southern Irish whiskey. Um, is it Glamangy? Glamangy. Glamorangy. In Brandy from Scotland. Um, 
You can see Eddie Murphy heckling characters because it's all like, Mike, it's not. It's still crap. It is still crap. <coughs> so, as many years ago at college, I had a lot of beer at them and I like the feelings and trust me, don't do it. Those cuddles have brought them back up. Oh. <laughs> if you want something that's like Bailey's, um, that's not going to curdle but helps out your stomach, tea and Maria and milk. I went out with my mum once, right, and I was on GMT, just the normal GMTs, before pink gin and all that became a thing. I hate gin. Right? But Perfect. then at the end of the night, I started drinking Bailey's. That was a big because what happened, it curdled, yeah. and I had a hangover for about a week. Oh. If you want to, a good, a good drink with Bailey's is taking a, a shot of peach schnapps, a double shot of peach schnapps, take a straw, run the Bailey's down, they'll put the straw into the middle of the peach snaps, run the Bailey's down into the middle so it forms a little like little brain just suspended in the middle of the, the peach snaps, mm. then get some grenadine done into it and you've got a, a, basically a shot called brain damage. Mm. Those things will get you drunk as quick as you can think. Okay. Yeah, and they get you drunk from the feet up. <laughs> Three of those and you will be wiped. Mm -hmm. Just and, you, and it'll just hit you. You don't realise that it's creeping up on you because it does. It gets you drunk from the feet up. You're fine. You'll stand up to go for a piss or whatever, or go outside for a bit. And the minute the air hits you, good night. Oh my god, we're at the train station. Oh my god, that is so in my mind. And the and I would the SLR was a fantastic rifle, apart from the fact that it was so big. When I, when I first hit Bobbins in camp, that's what we were using with the SA Yiddies and then said we, or sorry, the SLRs, then we got the SA Yiddies in. Um, it takes the LSW part of the SA Yiddies to make it a half decent snipers, you know, to good cover and fire, but the SA Yiddies itself, yeah. Being there, made the mistake of drinking something called a flatliner night out, the stuff literally curled in my mouth. I was like, the Yeah, SIG is a fantastic. Fantastic weapon. Um, I I had many a, a a day out on a range firing different weapons, but still one of the most versatile weapons you'll ever have is the AK-47. That thing's designed for you to take it to the North Pole, fire off fifty rounds, take it straight to the equator, fire off fifty rounds, take it to the South Pole, fire off fifty rounds. You'll very rarely get a jam. Well, I'm me for whiskies. I can't even look at whiskey now. I can't even hardly even look at a whiskey bottle because of my stag. Yeah, you had a bad experience, didn't you? My stag party when I pint glass a bar in Antrim called the Top of Town Bar. It had 18 optics across the top, so it was called the golf course. Out of those 18 optics. 11 more whiskies. So when the pint glass was nearly filled, there was to that much from the top of the pint glass, it was topped off with a bottle of bitter lemon. And I had to drink that based on one go. Oh. And whenever I was six, well, I left there, I left left, uh, left the top of the town bar, got into a taxi and went to Allen Park Rugby Club. And I can remember walking, I can remember walking up to Allen Park, I can remember walking in, I remember seeing the bar, I went, I need to go to the toilet. So I veered off to the toilet and that was me speaking to speaking to the big white telephone. Oh. <laughs> and all I could taste for about a week afterwards was whiskey. <laughs> and it still turns me to this day. The SLR was big and heavy, but now that could be changed and it used ammo that could be used anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's 7.56. My favourite range is still the bar at light 50. She has gone really cute at all. Um. Yeah, the bar at light fifty. That thing packs a punch and a half. Wonder where they got the idea for that from. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that wouldn't be a kick. It, that wouldn't be a kick in the arse off. Around for the bar at light fifty. Eyes size wise. Size wise. Mhm. Mm it's pretty close. Love it. 
Yeah, except the bar it ain't a squirter, says Mike. That's true. Here, I can fairly, I can fairly make somebody squirt them. <coughs> Quite literally. Yeah. TC is going for the record tonight. It's not of, of little speech. Little speech. No, it's because you're talking shit, so I'm leaving you tip. <laughs> he's just, you know, starstruck because it's been that long since he's seen a review from you that he's just loving listening to your dulcet tones. Well, he's got a good lineup, so you know, expect more. Maybe uh, I'm more thinking, you know, I can watch one of his reviews and actually get a decent night's sleep. Oh, that's. Nice. I'm just wondering what one to get crash next. <laughs> yeah, which one is going to be another hostile takeover? Can anybody hear TC? Oh, he's muted on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody hear anybody hear TC? He Sorry, does, TC, I can't hear you. Speak up. He does now, Andy. I'm clicking his button to action, you know. Yeah, hostile takeovers for the win. Sorry, right, TC, you're back. <laughs> you even fucking think about it, Michelle kicking the nuts. Sorry, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I might just have to punch him instead. Oops. Oh, come on. Oops. And what is he done? That's not nice. He's still good. He can hear. He can speak on cam. He's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Seconds. Oh my yeah, God. It's oh, my God. Yeah, it's only five minutes. That's like a year. Yeah, it's only five minutes. You're only discovering this now. Oh, yeah, the elbow. That's all right. See when I see him coming, a couple of other chat rooms that uh, I'm a moderator. Oh. <laughs> Which one do you want? Listen, TC and all honesty, do you think he gives a shit considering he banned? Fagan. Yeah. One of the biggest names in review and, and he banned them. But that's what he gets for coming into our show and talking shite after being asked politely not to. He was given fair warning. He didn't listen, so he got kicked. Kicked and banned. Mm-hmm. I was feeling absolutely mean that night. That's all right, cause you can still talk on you can still talk on camera, DC, and not that. Yeah. See, that's just the the weapon that we use to wind each other up with, is the you know the muting and timing out and shit. Good fun. It's, just a, it's an old running joke from um, BUKN that a certain owner of BUKN didn't particularly like me because I fought back with her, and mm. she took took absolute piss with me. So. Yeah, she she basically timed. Stop posting on camera. Calm yourself. She timed time out for something that there were several other people in the same chat doing exactly the same thing, but he was the one get timed out. Three times. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, I bounced accounts as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop her seeing herself on camera because she also does this pose on camera and sits and watches herself doing tricks <laughs> and just beeps the whole place out. It looks a lot. Yeah, crazy. it is getting a lot foggier in there. <laughs> It looks a lot really? foggier than it actually is in here. That's because I'm missing the little pod because I've done You really should have a fan on. on. I haven't got a fan. He does. I'm his number one fan. No, you're not. John Nash is. Hey, I'm his number two fan then. Sorry, John. <laughs> He's away now. Let's keep on waiting. Yeah, there's a fucking fan on. Yeah. yeah. That's why I can fog this place with a bit of mission. I've stole a spot now. Yay! You're in charge. I'll just go we'll take over. Hey, hey, ST! How are you? Hey, ST! Hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, right, Liz? Show horror. Roy has hands. 
any fans in Australia, to be fair, does need one mm-hmm. fan at least. That's not me. <laughs> I'm not a fan, I'm just a little, I don't know. <laughs> Get to work. Get rid of you already. <laughs> yeah, you just crack his whip. Um, Roy, Andy Summerfield says don't even mention that network the owners don't deserve your breath let alone anything else too many years wasted for far too many people that's why I'm not mentioning that person's name that network's dead which is a shame to be honest it is a shame because there was some good people on there yeah, but those good people have now just moved all the shows onto their own channels, and it's... Hi, ST. They're going to get the views and everything else, so... Yeah, exactly. It's probably better. I think, I think, I think the think days of networks are dead, dead, though. I know yeah, that we have this, but <coughs> it, it's not that kind of network. This is just a drop-in centre, basically. It's a hangout zone for anybody and everybody. We don't give a shit, really. There's no time constraints. There's no, you know... If anybody, if anybody wants to cast, they can cast whenever they feel like it. If they want to do it on here, it's entirely up to them. You know, it's we're not that kind of network. It's a place of anybody, anybody that's starting out that wants to, that wants to get onto, you know, uh, get themselves onto Echo. Yeah, there is a little bit of an Echo. Your it's not me that's, it's not me that's echoing in because I've got a headset on. It's not what we mean. It is a wee bit of echo coming back. I'm getting a bit of echo coming back from you on at the minute. Oh, well, my, when I'm not speaking, there's no reverb or anything like that. No, there's no reverb. I'm not getting any echoes. Well, I don't know how there's echo coming from me because I have uh, no... It might just be VC. It could just be the way he's gone. I think they've got quite a few bugs with their system there. And Liz? Liz? Yes, I do. I have got one fan. Mr. John Mr. John Nash. Kind of two, John Andrew. Yeah, John Andrew. Well, one and a half then. One and a half. John is my number one. John is my number one fan. And even he admits. The yeah, he's always the first. He's always the first to comment on your reviews. He wasn't. He's, he was sleeping in this weekend. <gasps> well, I suppose he's not been too well this week, has he? You can't count yourself as a fan, Roy. <laughs> I love her. She's she's just a female saint. Eh? She's just the Manic. ultimate troll. <laughs> Manic, you still in the house? Manic, you still in the house? Manic, <laughs> no. are you listening? Yeah, she is the ultimate troll. I love you, Les. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his laptop or... Yeah, your fan. He is one fan in the plug. Like a USB one? <laughs> I don't even have that. <laughs> we saw these cool little fans that you could plug into your phone. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. But maybe we should get a couple of them in the room. Yeah, that's just something else to drain your phone battery. <laughs> I'm going the cream puff. Oh, I'm going to rage quit. I could murder a cream puff, you know. Oh, tell me about it. Like, oh, my guy's got donuts in there. Yay. <gasps> I know, I've got in the fridge. Hiya, Peter. Hiya, Peter. I know, I have in the fridge. What? Wow. See, if you tell me it's a banoffee, I am going to come round there and... Put you not, the ice cream oh. and, and wafers to make sliders <gasps> oh. and it's still for vanilla ice cream oh, oh the cuttable so one oh, i'm on my way sliders. I've, not, oh, I've not had sliders in years and I'm only up it needs to be the ras- I, I actually prefer the raspberry ripple no for sliders i like the raspberry ripple i might go 
that I might have to go up to the Grogans this week and get a, get a proper spider from the Grogans. Oh, yes. Why is mm. that so? I can't review the crown. I just broke it. I have not broke it, right? You're just it. looking for an excuse not to review it because it's green. I'm looking forward to ripping the piss out of the colour. Oh. Sliders. Oh, he doesn't know what a slider is. Hang on. Oh, Andy, you've not left. Oh, I think you've not left. I'm a vice cream between two wafers. How does he never have that slider? The crown floor tank with. Yeah, there's Liz is even saying what the fuck is a slider. It's two wafers and ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a slab of ice cream in between two wafers. It's like a sandwich. It's like an ice cream sandwich. That's what they're called. Yeah, nugget wafers. That's what it looks like, only it's ice cream instead of nugget. Right, hang on. We'll get the picture put in. Yeah, ice cream sandwich. We call them sliders over here. He's like, oh, it's a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we call them sliders. So you have to be careful of that because people call them mini burger sliders. Mm-hmm. I love ice cream sliders. Oh, the picture one. Oh, it's <clears throat> yeah, don't know what the picture is. Good idea. Does it slide out? It does slide out, she said. Nugget wafers are the best. Nugget, yeah, nugget, but nugget, it's just, it's, it's good to eat. Or a 99 slider. Oh, I miss going to the ice cream van and going, can they get a 99 one and it only costs them 99 pence? Now it costs about a tenner. <laughs> just for an ice cream left out. Oh, you've put me in the notion for ice cream wafers now, you bitch. Take a bite and go. Oh, some video was cut by. Just seen, I've just seen where, okay. where it's taped it to. <clears throat> Steve Nichols, good evening, sir. Hi. How are you? Hiya, Steve. Hi, Steve Nichols. Go take a bite and damn it when you felt. Yeah. That's all part of the fun, though, that. You know, chasing it to make sure it doesn't drip all down the front of you. Oh, when it starts to melt. It's getting nasty when you put the raspberry sauce on the top of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, toffee sauce. Butter scorch sauce. Butter scorch It gurgling a bit. Yeah. Oh, Peter McVeigh's on the boss from Rude Boy. Nice choice there, Peter. That is good stuff. The boss. Oh, what does that taste like? Pixie dust. Yeah. No, the boss. That is um, the lemon one. I'm pretty sure it's apple green. Is it? Oh yeah, cause we've got we've got pixie. Yeah, because pixie dust has its own. A flavour in its own right, which, as you know, is my favourite. My roommate yeah, pix- that pixie dust, beautiful. pixie dust, and Ribena Bliss are my favourites from Rude Boy. The next more air in the mix, and it's totally different. Do you know? I used to love the Mr. Whippy ice cream. Mr. Whippy. Mhm. But you can put whatever chocolate, you can put whatever ice cream you want in between the two wafers. It doesn't matter. Yep. Because the, the ones from the Groggins, which is homemade ice cream, they actually have got a metal, they've got a metal um, mould, and they put the, the different, you know, whatever size you want it, small, medium or large, put the wafer in, and then they actually 
the rice cream into it, like sort of building blocks, and then put mm. the wafer on top, and then put them on the top side. Um. Whatever happened to it moved, Peter? Um, Ov had to move because they had problems with the shop itself, um, and the, the the landlords. Yeah, I think that, uh, their new one should be opening shortly. It's open. Is it opened and all? I I wasn't sure when it was due to open, but um. Because I've not seen any posts from them for a while, so I wasn't sure whether they had it done or not. Ah, speaking of the devil, there's Jordan in. Hi, you Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Is the new shop open yet, mate? Yeah, if you, if the shop's open, Jordan, give us a bit of info. Let people know what the crack is. Because well, I know they're open there. Open to six weeks. Know. That's very gurgling. It is, and I don't know why. Is your coil put that? Is your coil positioned properly? If it's maybe slightly off, or if it's not pressed in far enough, it's maybe. Um, I'll try it again. I'll check it out. Ob one, Jordan. The first coil was amazing on it, but I don't know what's wrong with it. There's your other lover boy and Roy. Hiya, Tetley. Hiya, Tetley. Hey, Tetley, man. Hello, Tetley. 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 There was a big post up about it reopening down the road, and then yeah, because I thought you were moving premises. That was a decent shop, decent me shop, and I can down for that. You shall be breaking. I'm not. No, I've got. I'm on a stock coil. <laughs> so I'm chubby, what are you Definitely not one of your coils breaking. Uh, vape magic. No, Ian, we don't. No. In Ballymena we have the Siggy Shop, Ballymena Vape Club, Ziggy Sig Shop, e Sig Shop, NI, Port Vapes. Yep, Port Vapes and the CBD stand in the Fairhall Centre. Because the one down high will close. Yep. No, I work for Mark and Mark. I work. I work for Marks and Spencer's. Oh, he's in M and S now. Yes. That's a bit of a change world. Mm, Red Boy Dublin Road is moving. Are they? Where are they, mo where are they moving to, Peter? I'm so out of the I'm so out of the loop. I've not spoken to uh, Aaron for since he's had the baby. I've not I've not been in contact with him much because. He's enough on his plate without me sitting in his ear. Yeah, apart from the odd comment back and forward on Facebook, I've not had like a proper conversation with Aaron for ages. Oh, Shankle next door to James. That would be mm. a bit strange. It's a shame. I don't know. <coughs> Why would they do that? That's taking it. I suppose. He's really not getting the trade that he was hoping to get the early morning trade. Because hmm. really, the shop itself is set in off the road, which is really hard to see. Yeah, because that time we went up uh, just before Christmas, we nearly walked past it. Yeah. Really hard to see. That was a great wee shop, though. The East Belfast one's in a good location, though, right on the corner where it is there. It is. It's, it's a, a great wee spot there. Yeah, the building's quite small, but it's a yeah, great wee location there. Best bricks and mortar around here. Good for mods and Addy's, not just juice. Well, Where's that at, Ian? He's uh, sort of down around Hillsborough direction. Moira, Hillsborough, right around that way somewhere. Ian, if you've never been in Titanic, 
or um, Andromisek. Those two shops are Andromisek for it being such a small shop is just jam packed. That you can get any god amount of stuff in there. You, uh, he's got a real good range of mods, a fantastic range of tanks and RDAs, full kits, build kits, oh, building materials as well. It, yeah, fan bread cheese and so. So I wasn't I wasn't far off when I said Hillsborough. <laughs> Just a bit tighter so the top glass was going kind of against the top. Mm -hmm. It was slightly loose. It was tight. <laughs> it was on Facebook page. I'm so glad I've got someone to fix my plus now. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's full. Yeah, you see, didn't I say, Michelle, it's great having minions. It is. Yeah. You see, there's that you can turn the glass. Like, surely you shouldn't be able to do that. No, it just sounds like they're uh, sounds like the old ring needs to be replaced on it. There's a more. There's some more. Yeah. Where's the more? South of Belfast. I don't know. I really need to look up an atlas or something. And to be quite honest, um, Peter, I haven't been on Facebook anywhere as near as much in the last while as I normally have been. I've had a lot going on lately, what we work and, uh, you know, with Michelle and the kids moving in and stuff, so you've not been around as much. Being a little tour guide. Mm-hmm. Flavor stood off at the least. If it was blue, uh, the flavor would be even better. Peter, TC's just a very quiet person. <laughs> I am not very quiet. Well, he just never shuts up. Well, there is that. I'm. What? Reopen. I think that's meant to be reopening. You're reopening where, what, Peter? Mm. Give us the juicy, man. Like a new house, Roy. Really. Uh, yeah, 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 you've moved since the last time you spoke to Jordan. Jordan, I absolutely love this house. Um, I moved into this, when I moved into this house, it was a four bedroom house that I was going to have my new nice, I had my nice little vape <laughs> office. I had a shower room, I had a clothes room, and I had my bedroom. And I was sprawled out across the whole house. Yeah, I'm work. opening my own shop in Barry Castle. Mm. Awesome! It's up the road from us. I'm in Ballymena, Peter. Yeah, Peter, I'm in Ballymena, and I could do with a job, mate. And I know my way around the industry. I used to work in it. I'd say if you've got more counters, but you know, no way does The only problem being getting to Barry Castle is a bit, is a bit awkward. Bus every morning. Is there? There's a bus goes to right to Ballycastle from Ballymena every morning. There you go, Peter. There's staff for you. And the only day, the only day that would be uh, troublesome would be a Sunday. The other, the, the other thing about it is Peter would get plenty of um, coverage. And an email. Uh, Peter, add me on Facebook. Or yeah, hold on, I'll put I'll put my email in. And if you send if you send it stuff through to Vape Lounge and I will keep going. When is the next vape, vape meet, Peter or Peter uh, Jordan? That's uh, that's my email there, Peter. Uh, you can get me there anytime. Jordan, when is the next vape meet? <laughs> Yeah, it's what they can put in the It's a bit bloody time you have some good luck, buddy. But she does, um, there's one mm -hmm. thing she does, um, Jordan, or Peter, 
Peter. Peter, she does know her way around um, the apes, though. I'll have to keep an eye out because the, the meats in Belfast are usually good steam, so. But there's what you call a fun button. A shop. Yeah. Not that you couldn't miss it previously because the sign lights up and everything else. They've had to go and put a huge whopping big banner on top of it. Oh yeah, you're right. No, you need to take me to my dad. It's coming. I need to go on a vape shop too. <laughs> oh, you do. That was the thing. Any time me and uh, me and Roy ever went out in the car or anything like that, it didn't matter where we ended up. One of the first things we looked for was a vape shop. <laughs> That's, uh, oh my Lord, that's kind of Where's that? That's Aunt Remise. Oh no, no that's, that's Titanic. Uh, Titanic. Is that the Raven Hill or Shangle? Shangle. That's the juice all in the back walls. Three walls of juice. And then and then the mod cabinet. Oh my lord, I could live in there for days. Oh, you could. And then what you, you can't know, see. Do you know what the problem is when you go into that shop, Michelle? Is there's so much and I have not enough of a bank account. <laughs> There's just so I much to choose from. I feel looking for the nearest bank to bloody rob. That side there mm -hmm. is the Mex. Oh, that's good. And then you've all the juice across mm -hmm. the back. CBDs, and then you've got... Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> now one of those 3D image pictures, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're annoying. <laughs> and all the... Uh, it's one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest stocks shops I've sort of ever been in. I have to admit, you know, when I go down into Belfast, Raven Hill is the easiest one for me to go to. So that's usually where I go. No. <laughs> Shut. Bye. There's no point going now. It's the middle of the night. You've been been in his bed. <laughs> Sweet Jesus looks like a vapor's nirvana, says Village. <laughs> village, you love it, mate. It's brilliant. Looks like heaven filled with flowers. James always, James and Jamie, the, the guys that own it, um, always said they just wanted to stock it high. Yeah, they always keep it well stocked. And the prices are reasonable as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. Ian, Titanic <laughs> and uh, Lesburn have their own tattoo shop as well. So you could go and browse the browse the vape gear, and while you're deciding what vape gear you want to buy, you could be in the back getting a tattoo done. No way would I dare step foot there. <laughs> yeah, because Liz has shiny itis as well, so she'd be like, "Scoop mine." <laughs> but the thing about it is, they they're forever doing bargain buckets. Yeah, forever doing these boxes of setting up, and you go up and you can get mods, you can get tanks, you can get packs of juice juices. And Always, always good offers on. Brilliant tattoo shop, I've heard as well. It is, they've got yeah, some fantastic artists in there. Um, it, was, it started off as um, basically, I think it was friends, and they had the room at the back of it, so they opened it up to that, and then it just progressed into being the Titanic um, tattoo studio. Yeah. That's cool. I've never ever had any tattoos. Liz, I've got a few, but I could do with a few more. If you like bargains, getting that burn again, I want to. Make sure you join up the Facebook group. So it's Titanic Vapor on Facebook, and the other one to keep an eye for bargains as well. Then is Rude Boy Vapor, Rude Boy Vaping eighteen plus. Um, or if you just go and join the community, ni vape ni ni vape community n dot i dot. Have you not got the link for ni vape community and Nightbot? Um, I don't know what it is. No, I didn't have shiny itis for a while, but it's came back now. Oh, the shiny itis is real. It really is. It's... People keep bringing out all these colourful mods, and I'm just like, ah, oh, leave.
And I did tune it in. Yeah, it's a great grip. Is it the NI Vape Community 18 Plus? Yeah. Right, even though I've not got a spanner, can I post links in? Uh, no, send it to me and I'll post it. Send me it in, v in a VC message and I'll post it in. Yeah, Vince got a top seven joke You love me, bugger. Nice one, Santa. What oh, colour did you go for, mate? I do have it. Why didn't I think of that? There you go. You've just put the link on, haven't you? Yeah. My Shane has just died down now. Yeah, One point there I was buying anything that I wasn't nailed down, but now I'm very picky <coughs> to charity auctions and I go well. Yeah, Phillies, we know you go well at charity auctions. That's the NIB of Communities page. Um, oh, blue to go with the little foot. Nice. Oh, little foot. Is that that's the MTL one, is it? The little foot. Yeah, that's a, that's something I would like to get my hands on actually as a mouth to lung dripper. There's three I'll have things to say about getting one. After just mine. Um one I want that to be just now a foot twister. Mm. Also the VX two hundred. It's so small and tiny and it's light as well. It's so light for all. Mm -hmm. And that new that little squonker that we featured last week. Remember you like oh, the, yeah, the sort of yellow and yeah, pink yeah. graffiti style See, one? I don't know if I would buy that because I was like, I like it, but I don't know if I would want it for myself. I don't know. I'm a bit thinking about that one. But I do like the look of it. It's so pretty and colourful. But um, no, it's that, uh, the new, is it the Zeus X or something? Yes, the Zeus X RTA. Because I like that it's um it's top airflow, so I'm like, ooh, a dripper or a dripper an RT that doesn't leak. Now that intrigues me the most, I think. Because uh, um, I have the Dead Rabbit RTA. It has uh, top airflow. <coughs> Great, absolutely fantastic RTA. Well, the only it. the only problem being um when you take it apart to build it, when you're putting it back together again, it's a bit finicky because there's little notches. Yeah. And you have to match up the notches, otherwise you can't screw the base in. Yeah. You have to be really, really careful putting it back together, but um, other than that, it's fantastic. Every time I wake up an RTA, I'm just like, like, are you leaking? Are you? And I'll sit there for that. Yeah, I do that as well. Like... She does. Even just be able to sit <laughs> like... and look at it and just sits and stares. And it's like, you're doing just testing with her. And she'll go... I just bloody taste the thing. Okay, I don't sniff it that bad. Jesus. You do. I don't. I just go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, just. Technically, it's nothing. And um, Mike, no, there is another NID of Community page. It's not the 18 plus one. There's now one an imposter. I think that's for Stephen with his with his big thick off light bulb mods on it. Mostly the 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 light bulbs you see. The other sort of big met or the boxes you see on it is um, Clifford's. What's his name? Balamina boxes. Clifford Bar. Clifford Bar. I mean the Balamina box. Yeah. <laughs> He's been a bit quiet lately though. He has been very quiet. <coughs> That's the biggest problem with the Dead Rabbit RTA. Yeah, they're absolutely fantastic, Jordan. Um where is mine actually? It's yeah, but yeah, there it is. The other thing, Liz, you'll the find on the NIB of Community page is a lot of competition. I get the very sexy blue one. Oh, I thought you would have had it in Rainbow Bunny. No, no um, this was a, this was a gift actually, very very kindly sent to me by Mr. Ian Morgan. 
I absolutely love this little thing. Nose hook. Oh, nose hook, yeah. That's about dead, that one. No, no, Jordan. No nose hooking. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that, you fruit. <laughs> number. Yeah, that's the thing. Where's number one fruit? We've not seen Dermy for ages. Oh, my lord. Oh, <laughs> nose hook. My only at 66. Point 0.1. No, it's on the rage, it's not point 0.1. Yes! <laughs> that is. I know, it's even got me at point 0.1. What a... What a no, Jordan, I have, uh, I have nothing in the uh, dead rabbit at, at the minute. It's not even whacked up, so... Yeah, That's I have no the drop. I'd never get the hoor up my nose. My nose isn't that big. Nose hook with a drop, Jordan. No, I wouldn't either. My nose is clean. Sorry, missed that one. Um, Liz, on the NID community page, you will get um a lot of the competitions come up for Titanic and Red Boy, and when they give when they do competitions for Juice, they give out it's any and me sig as well. They tend to give out a hell of a lot of Juice. And I can vouch for that. I won uh one of the giveaways from Ant me sig um last year. And I fifteen bottles. Or yeah, it was over. A, it was about a liter and a half's worth of e-liquid that I won. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right before uh, what was it? A a week before I went to Expo. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was a week before I went to Expo. Lucky ducky. Yeah, because <laughs> I went down because it was it was the Friday before we went to Expo that I went down to pick it up. And Andrew May says I came second, and even with I had a steward's inquiry with them because the person that that won it hadn't actually commented. Somebody else just tagged them in in the comments, and they they won it. But it was for like. Mister, what was that? Was that the most recent one? Yeah, was that an easy? I was like, you're so pernicky. But you see, the thing, the thing about it is, and the one thing I absolutely love about the competitions with um, NIB of Community and um, like and Titanic, Andrew May Six and Root Boy, is that you always will bump into the, a winner of it. So you get, to, you know, you know the winners, like the Bunny, Jordan, everything else. There's lots of these other competitions that I see on 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 groups and everything else, and you never ever hear of the winner or or anything. Yeah, well, that's one of the good things about us all being localised here, because we and with the vape mates and stuff like that, we all travel and we all go to each other's vape mates, and it's always good fun. Yeah, you know, so it is a good way of meeting a lot of new people as well, going to the vape mates. Oh, I spoke to um, Paul from hmm. Yeah, hi, it's Paul. I've not spoke to him for ages. Oh, little in the way. That's why there's when it gets that sort of out, you'll have a vape oh, mate right. after that. Yay! Happy days. Happy days. Have to get to that because Bentor's vape mates are always epic. They are. It's an epic. Especially, especially that curry from upstairs. Oh, what's that curry not like? That curry is that curry is epic. Oh, it's epic. But Absolutely the, amazing. The Bentor vape has got the ultimate man cave. Oh, don't they just? Oh, lethal. <laughs> I wonder if um. Simon will get us drunk at the next vape meet. Oh, good lord, the state of him. Oh my god. Oh, he was in some sketch, wasn't he? He was wiped. Yeah. He was completely. I think he was wiped before he even got there. He was in the first day before he got there. but He was. He was. His coils aren't bad now either. I have to admit, his coils are. His yeah, they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another coil maker does both his coils. <coughs> that's, the, that's the one thing about... It's one thing I would say about Northern Ireland compared to anywhere else that likes of Scotland, England and Wales. The vape shops in Northern Ireland tend to work together. Yeah, most of them do, yeah. Yeah. Because it is a community here. Well, even even the six that broke away from the Siggy shop, my work was Titanic. Mm. So it's it's 
a good community, whereas in England, if you sort of even from town to town, vape shops don't work together. And don't even let me get me started on Edinburgh. They have like no vape shops. They have vape shops, just shit all in them. Like yeah, they're just crap. Vape. There's like two vape shops. Port Vapes is better stocked than the, the vape shops in Edinburgh. Yeah, and Port Vapes is really just for starter kits, to be honest. I had to be nosy and I was like. Jordan, um. It's not a bad wee shop, the, the one in Balamina here. It's not a bad wee shop, but it is aimed at the starter's market. Jordan, John, I think John Smith's coils are a wee bit overpriced for what they are. Simon's coils are good quality. Um, Bill's coils are as good as quality as Simon's. And Bill's, I'd say, would be cheaper. Bill's coils are epic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's my personal opinion on them. Um, you know, and it's one reason why you know I promoted the Coily Toll here. The ones most English shops <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's why I promoted the Coily Toll so heavily here because of the likes of John Smith's coils being so expensive. You cut one of those legs too short, you've been seven eight quid down the drain. Yeah. Whereas the Coily Toll helps uh, prevent that straight away, getting the, the legs the right length every single time. Yep. Oh my gosh. That is true. Books in three hours. But um, it, it's all about supporting each other. Bell's upgraded the coil since your last order, Roy. Jesus, Bell. What is it you normally get from, Roy? You what? What is it you normally order from? What is it? I've got. I've got fuse clappings, tricores, uh, more fuse clappings. Is tricore get... is tricore mech aliens are amazing. Uh, and the, the thirty amp mechs. No, I that that one's even the thirty amp mech. Focus, damn you, focus. Mm-hmm. Come on, camera. Which one's you were doing that? this fine the other night. Come on, camera. Mm-hmm. There you go. Do the tricores. They want such other tricors. And there's the 30 amp mech. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give it a minute to catch up. Because they've zoomed in so much on me. But. Mm. I love it as a fact you can do that, and the legs are perfectly in, in length or in sync. But no, I don't go for the more complicated ones because, you know, most people aren't going to have lots of big complicated aren't going to have com- complicated um, coils. There, you've got it now. You've got it. You've got it right. I got that. They're in a lot. In a lot trillions. Nice. nice. Because most people aren't going to have the, you know, especially if they're just venturing out into the world of, of building and everything else, aren't going to get the more complicated ones. That's why I've stuck to the sort of the basic ones to use the reviews. Yeah. And I've got these in a lot of aliens. I've tried these aliens. I've got series of claptons on the way. Um. Put a few oh. oils in. I can't say anything bad about them. The flavours. So I can't yeah. say nothing bad about them either. Um, I'm loving them. Too. Another awesome. builder that I can't say nothing bad again is Micra. His coils are epic. Yeah, Micra's coils are very, and Chris Grimes' coils are very good too. Chris Grimes. There's a lot of good, a lot of good coil builders. We're blessed <coughs> in the UK with the amount of good quality um, coil builders out there. Mm-hmm. You know, I actually do, but I, the thing about it is, I actually miss making my own coils. Even though they were only basic coils, you know, they weren't aliens or anything like that. Yeah, but it's just, it's set and wrap on them, that's the bit you always used to enjoy doing. Yeah. 
And right from day right from day one, I wasn't actually too bad at rapping. It. No, your your first set of quads lasted you rightly as well. Mm-hmm. First set you ever made, you, what was it? You put them in. I because I gave you the Royal Hunter, and yeah. that was uh, the first time you wrapped the coil because I I had all the you you sat on that chair right there and done them, and they came out really good. And you had them in that Royal Hunter for ages. And the Lush Plus. Yeah. That's right. Mhm. The Lush Plus, great dripper. Main problem being it's bottom airflow, so you can't. You have to be really careful when you're putting your liquid on it because it just passes out the bottom. I love making coils. It's just a message away. <laughs> See, I'm still venturing Maybe out. Maybe my latest yeah. coils. You're just about to add stitch, interlock, brilliant, and stable to like to the face of this. I'm making some nasty just ASAP. ASAP. John's alien. I'm not fussed on nasty juice, Jordan, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'm still venturing out when it comes to coils because I've not really tried a lot of different types of coils. I'm still kind of new to that whole. Just getting there. I've been introduced to the good stuff. There's nothing like that. It's like I haven't used stock coils, stock coil tanks, and I don't know, very long. I tend to use rebuildables more than anything these days, but every now and again you get back to a stock coil for, you know, because the convenience of them's handy. You know, you just it's you go through cost. a lazy fit sometimes. And it's the cost that gets me though. Yeah, the cost of replacing the coils is quite pricey. Although the Crown 4 tank, the coils, even just the standard ones that I've got, and I've not got a mesh coils, and I've just got standard ones, and the flavour of that I love the uh, the Valerian. Whenever the Valerian came out, I loved that that much. I got three of them. I gave that to I gave my Valerian to my friend just before I moved. Because mm-hmm. uh, even even the the basic coils in the Valerian last you for weeks. Yeah. Well, I think she just had um, the Cleto, like the old school, the. Uh, the original oh, Cleto. Yeah, she just had that, so I gave it. Because I wasn't using a Valerian. See, since I got my Crown 4, my Valerian just got benched. So I was like, do you know what? Instead of it just sitting dabbling dust, I'll just give it to my friend. So yeah. Like I've got, I've got uh, three Valerians. I've got the Cleto, uh, the original one. I've got a Cleto 120. I've got the Freemax Mesh Pro. And I have the uh, Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. I've got that. Somewhere there, somewhere. Yeah, the Falcon's a fantastic tank. And Absolutely the, adore it. I got the Cleto Pro, and uh, do you know what? I did like that, but see, filling it's a nightmare. Should I take the ring off and then, like, wear the ring and fill it up and then put it back yeah. on? And it's just, uh, yeah. Uh, Jordan, here's one juice you don't want to get. Here's one juice you don't want to um, get picked on. <laughs> you got it again! <laughs> What's that white stuff? Or that bum fluff. Bum fluff, yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Mm. Can't wait for when you sell yeah. it. Yeah, VH, I do have enough to start my own shop. And Jordan's getting a new set up on RTA's coming. What you ordered? What you what got? What you getting? What you getting? <laughs> I think he likes the name of that, Jason. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you've also got watermelon. Yeah. Um, where'd that man go? It's really grateful and don't get lemon. No, seriously, Jordan, he, he told me the name of that juice and I was like, repeat that, what did you just say? I thought he was taking the piss. And then he showed me the bottle and it was like, oh my god. <laughs> Completely creased up. But I think my next, even though it's a single coiler, <coughs> um, my next purchase probably will be the Kelpie. Yeah, I want the Kelpie as well. The Kelpie. I'll be, yeah, I'll be on the 17th. Mm-hmm. It's a Kelpie, it's a little bit of squid. Little barrel squid. Oh. The new 29th Vage RTA and the Zeus X. Oh, the Zeus X? Yeah, that's the next one. one. I'm that Zeus X. You'll like that double barrel, there's a lot of people are uh, really singing its praises. I'm hoping that the Zeus X will be a good price at Expo. <laughs> I 
I say I'm the kale pie. <laughs> that's the two Scottish ones. It's the Kelpie. It's no, that's the a long running joke. It's the baby. The Kelpie, not the kale pie. It's the baby lost. Because the Americans are going to butcher it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that's the long running joke. <laughs> yep. I just want it for the little, the little Kelpie, a little thingy on it. Yeah, the wee logo. I'm just looking mm -hmm. forward to buying it and giving it an honest review. <laughs> You're just going to be so brutal, aren't you? No, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> you have to get some iron brew just to turn that. Like, I totally respect Chris now for the comment he put onto the YouTube video after my the review of the... And he came into the, he came into the show. Mm -hmm. As I say, Chris appreciates the honesty. Good, bad or indifferent, you know. You have to be honest because if he doesn't know what's wrong, then how does he know what he fixes? I just honestly can't wait for the fruit store. I'm such a fruit person. It's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking... Wee little Scottish berry. <laughs> it's a fucking wee little Scottish berry. A kelpie. Yeah, mate. Are you sure you mean the kelpie or do you mean Vic? <laughs> <laughs> he is a wee kelpie. Oh. <laughs> 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 Vic and Michelle could start up their own little clan. No, he's like ten foot tall. Vic's five foot seven. I can sit on my knees different. with Vic. He's five foot seven. Same difference. Between him and Solo, he's like I was on my knees at that picture at Expo. Anyone over five foot is a giant. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what did you just say there, Thomas? I see there's a difference between five foot seven and four foot nothing. Four foot nothing, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm sorry, should I say four foot and a dog in? Four foot six. <laughs> you know, it's that bad. I can't even get on the good rides at the fair. It's so bad. She can't. Oh, but my three year old's almost as high as you. The thing is, all the good rides nowadays are always marked at 1 meter 50. And I'm like, it's only 136. Our family's that bad. I can take Sky. If I bring Sky up to my head height, she starts getting vertigo. If I take her past my head height a little, she starts screaming. She gives him a death grip and, and everything. And she does. I can't put her above my head height at all. We're in, so we're in Edinburgh Steve. on the shoulders. <laughs> Steve Dave says four foot and high his. Steve Dave. Oh. <laughs> Steve not going to your high his, mate. And you were one of my favourites too. Oh. <laughs> four foot. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting Vic to be a bit shorter because everyone said he was so small. I know he'd obviously be taller than me, but... I was like, he's like normal height for a guy. So, I was like, is it all? Not stood between, not stood, not if he was stood between me and Bree. Oh, well, I'm dreading when I come out. <laughs> Who was it got that photo of you at Expo, Roy, uh, last year? You actually got down on your knees with, with you and uh, Solo, Solo. and Vic. Yeah. You took it. Was it me took that photo? Yeah. On my phone. That's right, yeah. I can see it on there, but like, oh, I thought I did smile. <laughs> on for that phrase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was epic, me and my knees between this, this yeah, that was... Solo and Vic. I know who, I know who, I'll be hanging out with him. Vicky Fogan. <laughs> if I want to like too small. Yeah. No, it was funny though at that October Expo when we came outside and he's standing talking away to uh, Aidan and you know, I was there and Brew was there and, and Solon was there as well. But he turns around and says to Aidan, he says, where's Mark? Mark was stood right in front of him. <laughs> you never seen him. Yes, Brew. <laughs> Steve Dave forgets Michelle could get a lift with Roy tomorrow morning to be a punter to head bottom in the box. <laughs> Just don't stand beside any bins. Hey? Michelle's down into Vic to make Vic look like a giant. Yep, would be certainly. <clears throat> Steve, we've lost that one. That's That was got lost in translation. I think you might be talking about the fact that Michelle's small. The bins are massive. I, oh, 
almost didn't see Solo the whole time I was at Expo. Oh. That's <laughs> he's, he's one of these, again, like me, doesn't sit still. It's because he's got the same, he's getting near the same age as me. Any RTA reviews coming up? I did, um, Jordan, I did that one. Yeah, he did the TM24. TM24? No, it's an RDA. Oh, an RTA. Oh, so RTA. I can't read again. Um, Vape Fly, Vape Fly Core. What's up? That one. Yeah, that's a bit of an oldie, but it's a goodie. That's because he was always in a crowd. Um, I did the FP, but it was written. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill, there's been two out this weekend. Two. Yeah. That's only because Michelle made him work. What? Is it because Michelle's been sitting in front of the camera doing them for him? In fact, in the last while, there's been three. There has been. It's three. It's three. Because I've done the core, the twisted messes, and the the EVC. Three and a week. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Mike, that is brilliant. <laughs> Roy did review the week of Facebook crashed and so <laughs> Be careful, Roy. People might start calling you reviewers. Three bloody hell, you're catching up on TV. He's back retired. <laughs> and after the next sub magazine comes out, there'll be two, two devices. Um, then I'll have one after that, they'll be just as well. We can put the juices out, it just doesn't really matter if the devices have to be out in the magazine first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not only do I do, not only do I do um, video reviews, I do written reviews as well, which get published in the magazine as well as publishing my own blog. So, yeah. Stuff. You know, they'll be coming out more regularly now that things are starting to settle down, both in work and, and home life. And that's what and, shiny is. And men mental ways as well. And you've got Michelle to punch in the nuts if you don't. <laughs> exactly, Thomas. Exactly. But, um, you know, whenever... <clears throat> it has been a long slog, because just over three years ago, probably three and a half, Slightly more years ago, I was diagnosed with severe clinical depression. And I made the hard choice at that stage that I wasn't going to start taking tablets. The doctor wanted to put me on the tablets. I made the choice I didn't want to because of adverse reactions to tablets in the past. So I fought for three years just trying to pull myself out of it. At times, I just, I still, I locked myself away. I came home from work. Um, locked the front door and didn't go out through that door. I was nearly a year I did that. I didn't go out at all at night to anywhere. And towards the end of last year, I was starting to go back down that way again. And um, things changed. Things slowly started to change. And it was also partly to do with the house that was in down in um, Paradise Avenue, where it was previously. It's the house itself, but if I forgot to uh, put the immersion heater on, because sometimes my mind isn't, memory isn't the best, waking up in the middle of the night to water pouring down from the ceiling, or coming home from work and finding your living rooms two inches underwater. 
Village. Good See night, you at village. In the village. Good night, village. Tell the truth, Roy. Michelle does the written reviews and uses your name as a non -zipper. Hardly, since I started off doing written reviews, first of all. And it was funny that, and a few others on that network that shall not be named, um, sort of talked me into um, doing video reviews. I'm glad. Was also the, was also Jordan, the, Jordan would like to know what's the best juice that you have ever vaped. There's two, Jordan, can I say? Sorry, three. Three juices that I cannot separate at all. One is Vape Star Inks Red Laces. Two is. Bonnie's going to hate me for this. Strawberry mandarin. Right. And number three would be Captain's Custard Lemon Curd. That would be my, what would be three. That would be my three juices. What about you, Michelle? What's the best one you've ever had? Oh, hmm. I've not really tried a lot of flavours, but the ones that I keep going back to <coughs> are Riot Squad Pink Grenade, uh, Red Laces, oh my god, I think like, tried them at all by Vape Star, and um, I don't know, I'll have to say this one. This one's really. That blue. Oh, the. That blue one. The sour, super sour one? I'm going to be so sad when that runs out because they don't sell anymore. So. Mm -hmm. What about you, Thomas? Uh, until very recently, it's now Brit Packs Jam Roller Poly. Or. Stella Gaff's. Is that the Mexican fried ice cream? Yep. Yeah. Those are my two favourite ones. That's why I've still got some. I've had that for about two months. Kind of take myself a bit of a laugh, but it's, yeah. And it's the other one's usually that. Like, like, like with gold. Oh, what's that flavour? Uh, it's just a mixed fruit. Uh, mixed fruit with a slight colada fruit. Mm. Yeah, my favourites um, would be Tony's one and only, which is the strawberry pina colada. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Yep, Roy's got the bottle. That is absolutely amazing. I tried that. Yeah. The next, the next one for me would be Rude Boy's Pixie Dust. Oh, I think I tried that. That's good. Uh huh. And the next one for me after that would be um, Unruly uh, Fizzy Cherry, oh, the I've Professor Green one. Oh, I've got the. I've got the strawberry, the strawberry one in there, the strawberry gummy. Yeah, I love the strawberry one as well. It's very, very close for me between the strawberry and the fizzy cherry, but the fizzy cherry just beats the strawberry. That would be my favourites. There's, there's another one that would then be very close up. Oh, monkey crunch. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I'd love to be it. That was a banana one. Mine, uh, mine is the versions. Great. Fantasy makes the mint on it. Yeah. Yeah, VH, the, the white chocolate mint one is really good as well. You like Turkish, the Jam Babe Company lime. <laughs> oh, I love that lime marmalade. That was gorgeous. Jam and strawberry jam are top three for me. Mm. I'm not into tobacco vapes, as you know, but I have to say that yeah, like Turkish tobacco is very, very nice. I'd be interested to try it, but I'm the same as you. I don't like any tobacco vapes at all. Yeah, I tend to avoid them. Every one that I've tried is just, it's almost made me sick. No, the, the yeah, like Turkish is nice. It is really nice. Roy, oh, Roy, Bill Burns says your favourite was peanut butter Danish. Oh. <laughs> that just gonna come second worst. 
to spook juice lemon tart. Uh, I'll get if that. Anybody, that was foul. If anybody likes, um, if any, if anybody likes, um, or wants to taste what burning condoms would be like, <laughs> just get um Danish peanut butter. I have to agree with Mike's Mike reviews there. That boy stuff is so good. Like I need some more of that in my life too. And Cindy, I totally agree with you about tobacco flavors. Um, I was on tobacco flavors when I first started vaping, and as quick as I could get away from it, the better. Because if you ever did break, if you, if you were vaping tobacco flavors constantly and ever did break and took a cigarette, then you're not going to notice the difference in taste that much. Whereas and as soon as I done it, I started vaping properly around the March time, and that November I went to a house party. I forgot my vape. I lit somebody's cigarette. Oh, it's god awful. I didn't even didn't even inhale it. I just lit it, and the taste of it was enough to make me sick. That's because I was on fruity flavors. Mm. I could have sworn if she said if you make the Danish, it was the best juice ever. You yeah, it's not hard to know, but Nobel's feeling better today. He's in troll mode right now. Still, <laughs> see, to do that, I would have had to do reviews, but according to you, I don't do reviews, so therefore I could never have said that. Oh, snap. Right back, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> it is, Mike. I had the whole range of that as well. The blue one was the first to go. <laughs> I cleared that bottle easy. Um, the only one that I didn't like were the grape one. The white grape, because I, I don't know, I can't get grape flavours, they just all taste like floral, fizzy Vapor Stars, Fizz Jazz, yes, Fizz Jazz Andy was fucking amazing. I want a horrible flavour to try. Blue Moo from Mount Baker Vapor. Yeah. What's that? Well, you may as well take a bit of plastic and lick it. Ugh. And get more flavour off it. I think that would taste better. <laughs> it's the same way. I do not like. Oh, I do not like Heisenberg. Oh. The concept Heisenberg, but that's not oh. bad, that one. Yes, yeah. Because it's very similar to, it's just uh, a big bottle size of the um, vampire vape, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is, it's vampire vapes. I would say I like that Heisenberg, one. Heisenberg, but it is like, it's alright for if you're wanting to play vape or something or anything like that. Yep, it's good for a palate cleanser. It's no one that you would sit and vape all day. See, a lot of taste buds. Aniseed in it though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's, that's, I can't, nah, anything but aniseed in it. <laughs> oh, you absolute belly! You're a twat. Has anybody ever told you that? Strawberry mango and tangerine. Strawberry on mandarine. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look, I've still got some left. Oh, I hate you so much right now. You had this the other night. Oh my god. Oh boy, stop it, you absolute bitch. Michelle's face. Michelle's face never lies when she does drip tests. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. And all, all that's coming right out of you. Oh, I can see getting like around that. all of our bunny seed right now is bastards. Yep. I could just eat. Hmm. Look at him. He's, he's going to sit and vape that TM dry now so that he can put the strawberry mandarin into that. Cunt. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think, um, you getting a bit foggy bulb in there? Yeah, just a bit. I have to shut the windows because I'm guessing that's tobacco. The only shut up that causes it. I've opened the windows, so that's why, and the doors open, so that's why we're getting a bit clear in here. Yeah. That's me, I'm like a wee fog machine. Ian. Ian, I used to like the bearded lady from the Siggy shop, but I find after a while, because it, it's very sweet and I find it gets very sickening, it's a nice juice, but it just gets very sickening because it is just way too sweet. I used to be hooked on little legs. 
until yeah, they, that was until, a really they nice until they made a bollock and put tobacco on it, and it was never ever the same again. Yeah, I think they nobbled. We David. Because they had a competition on the lab about you know, selling the biggest, who could sell the most, whose juice would sell the most, because they all had their own juices. And mm. Little Legs was outrunning everything. And then getting, I think it got nobbled, and it never was ever the same again. That there is a good juice. Yeah, oh. I love pink. I've actually got apple green. Such a cloud colour, though. Uh, I've got apple green in that, though. What's in there? I had to rework and write on there. I I have uh I have a bottle of apple grenade over there. But the bubble gum is like bloody vape perfume. Yeah, the bubble gum is not the best. I tried the raspberry one, but I went to you know I just don't think I like raspberry stuff either. Oh, I like raspberry, but I've got a raspberry custard on the go at the minute, and it's really very good. Really so the red packs liquid aren't that bad for gum up coils. Um, so you've just got to watch me which ones you go for because a lot of them are filled with colada. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the acid drop one is basically a melon with fair mixed fruits in it, but a hell of a lot of colada for it. Let's all show you how bad the. Uh, this will show you how bad the coils look after three days to be up in jam roll of poly. That's not bad at all, actually. Funny, this is delicious. Shut up. <laughs> I love it. I know, it's delicious, and I'm just exceptionally jealous right now because I don't have any. This one's for you. Cheers. There you go. It was. Yeah, those are pretty clean. They're not bad. Three days. That juice. And that's chain bacon. Oh, that's. Okay. That juice was my juice of expo. Bye, mm -hmm. Liz. Liz. See you later, Liz. <laughs> See you later. I'll give you a strawberry. Oh, man. Clean your coils. Good night, Liz. Well, we'll later. clean them later. Mm. Oh, that's oh. nice. Oh my god. Oh, just shut up. The strawberry on the inhale. Just shut up. Good. Good you gotta come good and punch in the nuts. Never mind getting my shell out of it. It's mango and pain. It's mango and. Mango? I never guessed there was mango in there. Hence the mandarin. Yeah, but I thought it'd be like a mandarin in the tangerine. That's why I don't do it, just to be a scum like that. <laughs> but the mango, it's because the mango and tangerine fuse so well together and with the strawberry and he spent so much time getting it right. That strawberry tastes like a sweet like, Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> <laughs> like a strawberry chew it and sweet <laughs> <laughs> What was their cucumber like, funny though? That was a really strange vape, but really rather nice. Really refreshing. I've never yeah. had a cucumber vape before. It was called cucumber. It, um, cucumber. Honeydew melon and Honeydew cucumber. Melon and cucumber. Oh. Really refreshing. Mm -hmm. And they had the cactus one as well. They had the raspberry and cactus one. Yeah. Which was really, really yummy. It wasn't as nice as the strawberry mandarin. Yeah, the strawberry mandarin was definitely the one that... And the strawberry, the yeah, strawberry mandarin be. ice, but it was just shortly after I'd done the bloody... Yeah, the colada challenge. The colada challenge, that the ices just weren't sitting them for you at all. Yeah. Bloody hell, Bonnie, put them <laughs> green death rays away. I'm just going to poison my coffee on Tuesday. Like, you better have that just or else. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I hate mango. I, I, love, I, I detest love mango. mango vapes. I've got a bottle of mango, wherever it is. That's how I was surprised. I'm like, I never get You've got mango? mango? Yeah. I hate mango. Sure, I've got why the do, vapor wave mango one. Mango is just like, oh. Rang? Look. It's like blue cheese. 
Yeah, like yeah, I like I love my I love my mango vapes. I'm on peaches and cream tonight, right enough. Vape kitchen used to be cucumber and mint was another favourite. See, I don't know. I think mint can destroy an e-liquid sometimes. No, I um uh, I prefer mint uh to menthol. I like I I like a mint vape. What's that one? El cheap bill. Oh my god. Yeah, the cactus. Yeah. That's really weird, That's my pineapple stuff. I like that stuff. Which one? That lip stuff. Pineapple. Mmm. Pineapple slushy. I shoved it in there. There was much room on the desk, so there's a bit. That was nice, that one. Oh, there it is. That is so gorgeous! Hey, gummy dude. Is there any left in that? That's the great one. Yeah, there is. Pretty tiny bit. I had a cucumber mental at the London Vape Show. Damn. It smells and tasted like, like Ajax floor cleaner. <laughs> they probably, they must have, they must have got the recipe off foot just for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Oops. Oops. I'll oops you anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> I take it you're giving Mike a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. A bit of chicken scoop doesn't smell this bad. A rotten egg one. <laughs> Not trying though. Yet. <laughs> Not to self. Never say, oh, I don't smell that. Then he's like, and I'm like, what? So well state as well, it's so lovely. <laughs> London Vape Show, I don't think that'll be, I think if it goes ahead this year, it won't be anywhere near. I'm sure it was, it was only saved by a certain big tobacco last year. Mm. <laughs> so good the carpet was gone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was only because of a certain big big tobacco coming in with a huge amount of money to put a stand in at it that it actually went ahead. I think a certain a certain person's dad sort of found out just how much that certain person did for the London Vape Show. Mm -hmm. um, um, chances are I'm not going to make my expo. Um, so it will be uh, Manchester and October Expo for me this year. What can we get up here? Um... When's the Manchester one on there? August. <clears throat> that was, uh, did nobody go to it on the Vape Show either? Because I know nobody went near it at Manchester. Yeah, the only ones that went to it at Manchester were the staff that was working there that weekend. Manchester Expo was epic, so it was. That's one we need to try and go to that one. Try and go to Manchester. Oh yeah, definitely. I've never been to Manchester before, so. Um, that's the one. Sure, were we not thinking that was it being for the three days? Or two days, whatever we get. Um, taking the kids. And then one day, one of us going to the Trapper Centre. The next day, the next one going to. Which is where the kids could go 
if she could go to drop shit in two days in a row. Mm. Well, sure they can have me and Bunny one day and we can that. You could do that. Because, like, we spoon, you know, it was on, like, on, like, our Birmingham. It wasn't as big, so, you know, the one day gets you around it. And a lot of the time we spent at the vape chip stand. Yeah, just sitting chilling. Mm. If the weather's good, though, because that outside bit. Yeah, because I wonder are they going to hit, like, because they had a bit of a fun fair there uh, yeah. at the and last one, so they might they might do the same again. But they were letting kids and because, in. Because the yeah, there was kids in. Because yeah. the skateboarding and everything else were letting kids in. Yeah, and there was the retro games, uh, the games room as well. Wait, Peter, would... there, was, there was car drifting and all sorts. So that's the thing, the kids probably could get into it. Yeah. Quite possibly. Oh, yeah, it's no more. And Vape is gone. Yeah, Vape is no more. Oh. Well, Vape Finder was winding down, like, because it, it couldn't stand with uh, Vite Tom being at the helm of it. Mm hmm. LVS, I didn't think there would be an LVS again coming out. It was, you know, Tom was the driving force behind that. The whole thing because weeks, the months on the run up to it, Tom was on every show, everywhere promoting it. He was on Facebook promoting it, and then I think by all accounts that expo that uh, Tom put on a couple of weeks ago, the Sebada one, uh, went down a storm. Yeah. So apparently it was a very well organised event, and there was quite a good crowd turned up to it. I won't be at many expo, many may expo either, but I may. Oh, nice! Yeah. That sounds interesting. Do you think the Ryan Q would be a good bag to try quid? Yes. Is that that wee one? So it's like a walkie talkie. No, the the wee uh, podcast that Gail got a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah, that was the wee blue one. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a good buy for for twenty quid because those usually retail about forty five. So if you're getting that offer for, for twenty quid, Ian, jump all over mm -hmm. it, mate. I would. Yeah, Andy, I know that it was it was just at the very last minute they called Tom in, um, because him and his dad had a fallen out, and basically it wasn't even his dad; it was somebody else asked Tom to come in at the very last moment, and it was so sort of two days before it that Tom went in, and then the big stand that paid an absolute fortune to have the stand there um, and they paid nearly the same amount of money to be at Manchester Expo mm -hmm. that was just so funny just watching that nobody went near it Ian where's that you can get it from Thomas yeah. you're on camera you can ask the question to him directly yeah but you flabbergast too much so, I'm just trying to fill the dead space that nobody else is he talking. Just, he just likes to flap his gums, Thomas. You just like to shout louder than him. He's just putting people to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, my 10 grand. Oh, it's a gold one, too. Ooh. The gold one's nice. Maybe a bit too blingy for you, Ian. But, you know. <laughs> but if you're getting it at quad, you'd be not know. Good wee pod devices. There's one that I would recommend. Oh, the Oopsie! I want that. It's quite heavy. Or if you want some, yeah, that's why I love it because it's you know you've got it. It's a wee heavy pod. Yeah. Or that. Uh, the Pal. The Pal Pro. Many of you seen the new his mother's pod? Is it? No. The key fob shape pod. What? You know the, you know the keys you get for like Mercedes Benz and things. Yeah. The shapes of them. That's what they've released. A pod version of that. Okay. 
Yeah, I seen it on the Instagram the yesterday. Oh, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Mike, Mike doesn't like the oopsie. What do you like about it, Mike? I did like the oopsie, so it was a really, really nice, very well made mode. The only one downfall is something that I've got similar with the the pal is the position of the airflow. Yeah, because depending on what way you'd be holding it, you'd end up covering it with your hand. No, that just no. No. Yep, that's an Asmodus. It's called the. Asmodus, what the hell are you thinking? The only ignition. No. No. Bad. No. That looks awful. Yeah, that's one of Looks like a money hand grenade. You don't see? No, I don't like it. I don't like that at all. It, to me, it just reminds me either of Volvo. Oh, one of the Volvo keys or one of the Mercedes Benz. Mm. It doesn't look so good. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty. Oh, no, that's that one, but it looks pretty. I'm pretty sorry. <laughs> That's Admodus' Admod Admod version. Mine's from Ultrona themselves. Nice Admod. That was another one that I had the him and how bit of purchase of. Yeah. But they done me a good deal in the end, because they gave me that and the... the Spunk, the RDA, the same price, and the T-shirt. You know, I like the look of that wee Asmodo bunker RDA. Mm. Oh, she's on Asmodo's Instagram here. Do you know if you do that? Alright, oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking at all the pictures and she had to press it and go back and everything else. Where well, I just showed her if you press the middle button, it just gives you all of them in the big full size pictures. Oh, that's a little yeah. funny. I've got that purple one. I don't know if you can see, probably not. That purple one. With a pink. Probably not. My arms are too short. Ow. Look at that. I'm bunny. This job in Mandarin is so. I'll just. Lovely. For the love of God, why won't you stop it? Just a heads, just a heads up, guys. If you hear in the news tomorrow that there has been a very sudden death in the Balamena area, you will know that I have gone out of the house and I have went round there and butchered him. Okay. <laughs> Mike, I know the feeling, mate. I'm going to. At three and a half hours done now, so we're going to. Call it. Yeah, will we start winding it down then? Yeah. Mr. Vaping with TC. Yes. Any final words? No. Your first words? There's no more first words. You just never shut the hell up. <laughs> if you if you worked on doing more reviews for that voice, you know, people might follow you. Just saying. Anyway, bye everyone. <laughs> I love you, Thomas. <laughs> Michelle? Good night, everybody. There she goes with the radio voice again. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for having me on again. <laughs> Bunny? Yeah, cheers very much, everybody, for sticking with us for the three and a half hours. It has been very, very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, all else fails. We will see you again next week. If you If you've got nothing better to do tomorrow night, you could tune in to uh, VH Reviews' channel there. I'll be on there again tomorrow night, 9 o'clock. If you want to tune in, you're more than welcome. But yeah, we will see you all again next week. All being well. That channel. Come on, work. Night Come on, Lightbot. Keep up. Oh, there it does. Yay, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be on there tomorrow night, and I'll also be on Twitch on Friday night at 8pm on the Bitches, yay!
Well, yeah. Yeah, that's that for me. Roy, over to you for the final, final, final word. What have you done to Prepare for the longest goodbye ever night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> um, thanks to Bevan with TC for coming on and being a cheeky twerp. And um, thanks to Michelle for coming and sitting beside me and enjoying my perks. Oh, uh, just glory. Thanks to Bonnie again, um, as normal, for, for co hosting. You're very welcome. And um, just making you say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you watch this live podcast. Take care now. Roll. Am I allowed to say it? No, not yet. Am I not? What? Can I say it now? Oh, lost it. There we go. Can I say it now? No. No. Why do you, Why do you never allow me to say pash flaps? Pash flaps. Pash flaps. Pushy lies! Funny for tits! Oh, the lizard liquor's massive! Yo! Keep your roasties toasty! Yes, keep the roasties toasty! And leave Vic's scrotum out of it! There's nothing wrong with Vic's scrotum! Cheesy, hashtag cheesy nuts! <laughs> cheesy nuts! <laughs> cheesy bell end! Bulls and bow tie for Andy! Pets flap! Oh! Fish flap for Mike! <laughs> Ooh, balls and bow ties. Hello. Yeah. Hashtag is nothing wrong with my scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Where, hang on. Where, where's the stop? Where's the stop streaming? I'm at your. How do I stop the stream? Hashtag amateur streamer. <laughs> I can't see. I, I need the glasses. Stop.